Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by Helix, Rocket Money, Better Help, and Factor. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear, welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. I'm Nate Bergetzi, uh, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber, and a fun Dusty Slay, <laughs> <laughs> John Chris. <laughs> fun Dusty. Don't you I'll think, take that moniker. Yeah, you would be like I'll a fun, yeah. fun Dusty. Yeah, like a little bit more, yeah, Dusty, yeah. Like an uplifting, believes in the moon, Dusty. Yeah, have a little bit more positivity yeah. than yeah, Dusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's yeah. always around the green room at Zane, he's always something so Something, something going on. Something's going yeah. on. Something's not right. So you're yeah. you're a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Nate they put it best. He said Dusty's having a good time as long as everything's going his way. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But if one thing goes wrong, yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of guy you want, don't you? Yeah. He brings a good energy to this podcast. He has a good energy. I'll see if I can fill in uh, for him appropriately. <laughs> he has. Uh, yeah. He's sick. That he got sick. So uh, yeah. here we go. We would get Probably John a conspiracy. Back on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People wanted you back on. Did they? Have. Yeah. You know what? A lot of people say, you know what's because we were just talking about going up and doing some TV in New York. And I was like, anytime any, because I was trying to fit in my schedule, we should go up there like on an off day, fly mm-hmm. up to, and I was like, it's way more people that meet and greets are out in public or on Broadway say, we know you from this. Oh, really? No one has ever said, like, we know you from. Laughs on Fox. Oh yeah, <laughs> or, or, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. they go. We saw you on Theo's pod. We saw yeah, you on yeah. Nate's pod. We saw you on oh, Santino's yeah. pod. We saw way you to yeah. attack my only credit, John. Yeah, come on. No, no, I'm no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. but that's true. I mean, yeah, yeah we're. It's like, were you on laugh? No, no. no. <laughs> so, <laughs> didn't make it. I thought was you meant that? this podcast is <laughs> <as> your credit. <laughs> yeah, that but it is. Uh, yeah. Laughs. I remember that. Oh yeah, remember that one. Yeah. What about the one? Dusty was on there actually. Yeah. Yeah. What about the one? Uh, it's on late at night and Comedy the black guy. TV? No, yeah, is it the black guy's the oh, host? Oh, that's. Uh, and he's like, so you uh, yeah. went to the mall last uh, what's week. What's his name? Uh, what's Byron show? Allen. Byron Allen. Yeah, he's a billionaire. Comics Unleashed. Is he? Yeah, he is a. The billionaire. guy made a billion dollars. I think he owns the Weather Channel. Yeah. yeah, he owns the Weather. He he's uh, Comics Unleashed. Yes, I've that's done Comics, Comics Unleashed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Com- and I've done Comedy Out TV was another thing he produced. But Comics Unleashed is notoriously yeah. known for. Uh, have we talked about it on here? I don't think I, so. I don't know what you're going to say. Was like, Everybody knows what it. If they don't know the name, they yeah. know what Comics Unleashed. So is. if you ever watch, it comes on. It's like, like in a hotel ABC, room. I think ABC or something at like late at night. Yeah. I'm on the Comedy Out TV. Uh, it was on CBS originally, or, or it's, it's syndicated. After, it's syndicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, Byron Allen, a brilliant dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he uh, he's oh, he's, yeah, he's yeah, a comedian. Yeah. Uh, and he uh Byron Allen folks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's one of us. He's one of the folk. It. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, his last name, dude. Uh so no, he, or is that Brian Al- Byron Allen folks? <laughs> Byron Allen folks. Yeah. yeah. Uh so yeah, he's 62, which is insane. He's that's very young to I mean, that guy has been successful for a long Ever. time. Mm-hmm. I remember him on real people. 40 years ago. Yeah. It was a show on NBC. And he was one of the correspondents. God. But what did before, what, did people ever say, like, years ago. <laughs> we knew you know, from. I don't know him sound older or you. <laughs> 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 Both. Did people ever say, like, we, I, oh, I'm, I know you from, like, uh, Comedy Central? Uh, no, the Comedy Central would have been. So I'm trying to think when of When I got on Comedy Central, I think Comedy Central was still kind of like, people were still kind of watching it. Yeah, yeah. But, you would never sell a club out like but like you would from it it's all like uh i think more now it's like kind of just like i've been following you since someone will be like i've been following you since, since i saw yeah. you on comedy central but I, your amount of fans That's you had in was nobody what was your premise on the you remember so what you did? when he hosts his show it's notoriously like he just would out of nowhere it's he, like on a couch yeah and then he just goes around and, he, and, he, and he, so he's setting you up for jokes. So you have a joke and let's say John has a joke about sharks. Yeah. And then Aaron finishes his joke about mattresses. Yeah. And so Aaron gets done and we're like, ah, oh, it's great, Aaron. Yeah, he cheers. goes, uh, yeah, yeah. John, you've been shark diving before. <laughs> and then you just, just tease you up. Just yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And it says the it's it's yeah, it, it's like very fun and funny. I did do it. And the all the other comics have to laugh at the other comics. 
Yeah, when you're doing their acts. It's yeah, like doing, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. doing yeah. radio. Bob yeah. and Tom is the same. Like they kind of set you up and go, what "How was bits? school today? School's yeah. good. I've been going to school. My daughter's in school. You know, you mm-hmm. get into your joke." But he would just make quick. It was so abrupt, quick. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, it'd be like, "Oh, that's great." He goes, "John, you're scared of clowns, right?" <laughs> and then you're like, "What?" And then you'd almost sometimes like go, "What? Oh, I have a clown joke." Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, it I would got... come at you <laughs> so random that you would almost, just yeah, you forget you're... that. You have the joke because the way he would word it, he was it was so good that he would sneak in there, and be like, "That's crazy." Yeah, guys. I don't think if you're not a you're not in comedy, I don't think you would piece this together. No, no, that it was like choppy. Even when you're sitting there, it's hard because you're <laughs> listening to a guy talk about his pet his, dog, his bit. and you're kind of really listening to him. Then out of nowhere, you're just like, "You sleep with a gravity blanket?" Blanket, and I go, "I, I do what?" I go, "I've never." Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so gravity blankets. You seen them for sale? And then you're, what's the deal? Yeah. <laughs> you get real defensive at first. What's the matter? You, I don't ever slept with gravity blankets. Oh, uh, oh, I have ten minutes on gravity blankets. Yeah, yeah, and you can't. I was at Walmart the other day. You can't get in on the other guy's bit, right? That's his yeah, you don't go. Wait, what? You, yeah. There's no like. You just let him go. You because the person's doing their act. So like when you would do Bob and Tom, <laughs> that's you, awesome. Dude. You would. You're doing your full. I'm trying to think, like, uh, you know. I still watch it. It still comes yeah. on. Olivia, like my Olivia oh, yeah, joke, yeah. I can't even remember how to say, but like, you know. It's, it's like, like, you play golf, right? You play golf, right? I go, yeah. I did play golf the other day. Uh, uh, I was golfing. I went out and I'd say, Olivia, yeah, yeah. and I'd do that joke. That's how. It, that's like panel that's, on TV. Well, what's the yeah, difference? Yeah, that's what in, it's in, Everything's setting everybody up. Yeah. Truthfully, like when you go do this stuff, everybody, as a comic, even the Set, celebrities, yeah. they're told beforehand Unless it's like a real, real interview and you do a pre-interview, uh, you know, you said, yeah. Howard Stern type interview or long interview, like they would talk to you, then you, you that yeah. then the that interviewer takes you where you want to go. Where, yeah. But other ones you say like, hey, I have a funny story about There uh, it is. I can't yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't find a higher resolution yeah. picture of this, but here's you on the on the panel here. Who is that? Yeah. Who else was on there? It's John Hitton, I believe. Yeah. Uh yeah. Uh, I know I'm blanking on her name. Es- Esther? Esther, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. And that's the the guy from uh, uh, Super Troopers. All the Troopers. way on the all the way on the. Uh, What's yeah. the comic from Super Troopers? Yeah, I don't, I don't Carlos know. or yeah. uh, maybe Carlos. And, but yeah, it was it was super fun. I mean, it was like I was glad oh, to do yeah. it. It is he's done really good for comics. I mean, I'm not trashing. It's him. probably helped a lot. Of he's people. really helped yeah. a lot. Yeah. That guy's a smart dude, a business dude. Uh. Like I mean, really brilliant. I think he yeah. tried to buy the Broncos. Yeah, I mean, who Jeez. who thinks to buy the weather change? Like, I mean, it's just yeah. so good. And he like Smart, bought. Yeah, yeah, he would just do ads, do these things. So and like, then, good for him. Oh, I'm billionaire is tough. I mean, that's like so, yeah, that's so. It's a thousand million. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's a thousand million. <laughs> think about like four hundred and fifty-seven million. Yeah, and then another. <laughs> Five hundred, not even halfway. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> so many millions. Okay. Dusty vibes uh, over there. I like uh, how. Yeah. Is it you drive stick shift right? Oh yeah. So <laughs> stick shifts are crazy because <laughs> yeah. if I had a bit, I mean it's yeah. If John was on there, he yeah. would have to lay down on the yeah. floor. <laughs> it's yeah. like, hey, I gotta have this. Seat. Can you actually? I'm, I'm standing. Can I have two seats? Yeah. Why is he standing. <laughs> Can I have a love seat? You have to ask for a love seat. You, He's like, she have props now? You guys, right. He just needs room to lay down. <laughs> That's the but no, whole, all the. Yeah. But it's if, if it's inside a place, like if it's with the studio, they laugh. Oh, yeah. Like they just they no, just Yeah, laugh. well, then the person does a joke, you know. It's just sitting there. But you like, couldn't bomb on that. Yeah. Could Aaron, you? you just bought a pumpkin, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're... I mean, it's when it's you. It, that's what it is. Yeah. people are gonna watch yeah. it. It's it, it's not. It's like <laughs> on the TV. Like if you turn on the hotel TV and it's on the last channel yeah. from like the news or yeah. the game, and it's like, that's whenever I would see it's it. It's on every you know? night. Comedy yeah, TV. Always. When I recorded, oh, they Com- have their own channel now. Yeah, it's just that show. Well, no, no, the show was called Comedy TV. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not the a, greatest. Name. I have yeah. Comcast. So there's a comedy channel, and it's all just. Comics Unleashed or Comedy.tv. Oh, okay. Comics Unleashed. So yeah, I'm on yeah, Comedy.tv, yeah. and uh, when we record, I recorded with uh, Keith Auerstadt. He did a thing where he were, uh, Byron and I recorded just He a, probably owns that. Oh, yeah. So now I guess he owns Comedy. Of this, he so does. the first show is Comedy.tv. Yeah, and Alan then, Media Group. That's yeah. crazy. 
Oh, yeah, yeah Oh, that's him. I mean, there's Vecchio. 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 Yeah. Hey. He's on the front page, dude. Let's go. John Roy, first comic I oh, ever yeah. I remember him. really met and saw when uh, and, uh, yeah, that was a big comic. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, it's just kind of like, um, you know how if you're like, we had this discussion the other day, if you're like Miss Alabama, mm -hmm. like how many years after are you allowed to leave that in your Instagram bio? Or I think that just you that follows you the rest of your life. Right? Okay, Miss Davidson. Yeah. What about Miss Davidson County? Miss Davidson County, nineteen eighty four. No, you got to take that. <laughs> yeah, if you're a county, I, I think that's. Yeah. I don't even know if you put it in there to begin. with. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Start, you don't leave but, with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or if you're if you're like Miss. Yeah, if I you're mean Davidson's Miss, a big county. Though. It depends on I guess the. Yeah. How big, but yeah, Miss Wilson Alabama, County? I think you yeah. know forever. Miss I, Alabama oh. forever. Your, yeah. your husband's going to introduce you as Miss Alabama oh, for oh, the yeah, rest of yeah. your That's life. That's a credit yeah. you can have. But yeah, it's, can you? When do you stop with the like, Comics Unleashed credit? Is what I'm saying. Well, you hope that you get to stop with it. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the key. Yeah, yeah. For you me, hope never. That, I, have, I still have them, but yeah. I don't. It's not in my top. You yeah, get to yeah. stop when you top it. <laughs> yeah. But so you got to hope that you can, you know, figure out a new. Did you ever have to like thing. when you were like? You would featuring. say this podcast over. Of course, Com comedy TV. Like you, can, yeah. you got to have yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You, you did Gotham something. Comedy Live, but you oh, probably yeah. don't mention that much anymore. Nah, that doesn't come up. Nah, mm. I did, yeah, that doesn't. But I had it for a while. I had yeah. it for a long time. You did Gotham? Yeah, and on uh, yeah, it was on uh, Axis or whatever. Axis it's one. when oh, it's off yeah, Comedy yeah, yeah, Central. Yeah. When Louis Anderson hosts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the Comedy TV. I recorded my set, and I remember they kept the same audience. They would pay an audience. Like a lot of these tapings, uh, so if it's a big show, it's I mean they don't have to pay, but when it's not big shows, so they pay an audience. They recorded like nine shows. I think Whitney Cummins hosted them. That's uh, so Bonnie smart, McFarland might host one too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so by the time I went up, it was towards the end, like eight shows in or something. And I mean, this crowd is not even paying. There's <laughs> On no life rhythm. support. Yeah, <laughs> On life support. they would laugh. Why wouldn't you walk that? They would laugh and. But it was such a fake laugh. They were <laughs> laughing at all the wrong part. Like it was a robot. <laughs> like you're not, they're just. So yeah, you just yeah, couldn't, yeah. you were like, well, y'all are laughing at that. Then they would. Not. And I remember just seeing one guy just with a stare to the face. <laughs> the whole show. Never smiled. Yeah. I can still see him right now. He had a big kind of long fro head hair. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, almost like, uh, what's the Simpsons? Uh uh, Sasha Bob or whatever. Yeah, his yeah. His hair was like just kind of big like that, yeah. and I remember just he just sat in his chair <laughs> and just stared He's like, at Why me. Why am I here? I mean. It's just like in a studio in Burbank him. at like 3.30 oh. in the afternoon. And You're he's already, like, and he's been there for four hours. <laughs> he's going to make $80. <laughs> oh, they paid the crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, when you first start taping stuff, yeah. I mean, my full-time magic on Comedy Central, we the crowd was paid to be yeah. there. And then live Gotham would have been paid. Yeah, they were paid. Because you yeah, can't, yeah. you couldn't have. But it's like. Stand up wasn't yeah, yeah. as much of a draw. I would think if you take mm -hmm. that stuff now, it's mm -hmm. a little, stand up's people a lot more out. of a draw where people are like, they know stand up is a thing to go to. It's like in that but cultural then, lexicon. Yes. Stand up is. Yeah. yeah. But then it wasn't. I just taped a uh, Don't Tell comedy special that I think comes out this week. It's like a shorter Can song. you right. tell? Mm. I can tell now. Oh, okay. wow. mm -hmm. All right. But during the warm up comedian set, it was really interesting to watch them. They were looking at the crowd of like who who had just a bad face sitting up out, front, moved them. And then right before me, they took, they just like picked them up and moved them to the back of the crowd. <laughs> Somebody was laughing. They looked nice. You come up and sit in the front. Oh, yeah. So they did all that. Yeah. First rule of roadside beat sales. What's that? Dwight Schrute. <laughs> Remember when he, they had that press conference and he moved the, Phyllis and Stanley and the, <laughs> yeah. the back and move uh -huh. the hot girls up front. Uh -huh. That's what they did for sure. <laughs> we did that in our in our in that when that guy we could do promo at our show and I was like, hey, get like like attractive people laughing. Like yeah. this is what you say to the crowd on stage. No, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my video guy, I go, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, it, like, I don't know, is that a, is that yeah. a bad thing to say? No. no. Hey, no, get I like, mean, uh, it's it is what it is. It's videos, it's TV. It's like that's everything is going to do it. You just want people laughing, but yeah. My buddy up in, uh, it's one of my best friends, buddy. I think in Chicago, he went to a comedy show, and then they were like filming it, and he was like laughing at like another joke that wasn't that joke and then they put him in oh, laughing yeah. at that joke and i think he got fired from his job 
He when was the special on stage? Came, no, he's in the crowd. Oh. Because you go to the crowd shots, and it was like some kind of topic that was like way, like very inflammatory. <laughs> oh. And they took a laugh from his <laughs> other time in the from show. Like a, and I think he got yeah. fired from his job. Whoa. That's good. They, <laughs> that's <laughs> well, they would, when you would do special he got too. canceled he got canceled from uh, the crowd from laughing yeah. from laughing at probably a regular joke yeah, yeah. It's like i wasn't even there for that it was that was last tuesday uh i was even at that show dude the comments they would when you did a half hour comes into they would they would edit it sometimes weird because the person yeah, like yeah. would not care mm -hmm. so you would like have a you could have a call. There's comics that would have a callback, but they don't ever play the original part. <laughs> so you yes. could just be at the towards the end of the set, you see them go bananas, and everybody's like, and and you're like dying what, what did I miss that part? And at home, people are like, What? <laughs> yeah, because they missed the beginning that said, Hey, something about bananas. <laughs> so they just at home, you're like, What? <laughs> what you're is like, that guy talking it. about? But the guy that the guy that probably edited it, like, didn't you don't get to say. In no, the you get, they don't get. They don't ask you. They would come out and say, uh, <laughs> "Right when you got done." I mean, I remember taping it, dude. You walk, uh, me and Chelsea Peretti taped the same night together, and we when you right when you walk out, I don't know that they're even going to do this. They go, uh, "It's so just kind of businessy." I mean, they were very like these were big moments in my life, but someone just comes over because you're just met with like, I can't believe I'm on TV. I can't believe I'm doing this Comedy Central presents. Like I've watched these. Yeah. It's crazy. And you get done do it, you walk off, you're like, oh man, that went crazy. And someone's like, rank your jokes one through 10. And I'm like, what? Like a guy with a clipboard. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, just rank them. And I mean, you got to rank them before you get to the other side of the stage. Whoa. Like kind of just being oh, like, yeah. all right, I want this These one in for sure. Mm -hmm. This oh, yeah, one, yeah. Uh, you know. But you kind of, it is probably the best time to ask. I think I would have liked I need to just to know it. beforehand, yeah. hey, afterwards, uh, you know, you remember what jokes you think. Like, just say or it. Or we're going to send you a raw, like, Dropbox on yeah. tomorrow. Just send I us mean, back. I don't think Dropbox was invented. Dude, what do you think? If 2010? No. no. What 2010? do you think the average person, what, you probably talked about this before, what do you think the average person thinks you would get paid to be on The Tonight Show? Like, 10 grand? 20 grand? Uh... I don't know now that's the night show. Like a band, if like I don't know. I I there's part of me, honestly, that thinks people might think you don't get paid just because Oh yeah, maybe. It's mm -hmm. you're going on to advertise. Yeah. Like you're selling your show. You know, like whatever your yeah, thing yeah, yeah. is. Yeah. But if you're a comic, you get paid. I think you get paid like twelve hundred dollars. You yeah, get paid yeah, whatever what, the yeah. union yeah. thing is. But so it's there's not no oh yeah, it's not filming right now. No, oh, yeah, yeah, the and it has been for a long time. Mm -hmm. But they're, but it's yeah. still on. They're doing reruns, right? But it's like from a different yeah. time. I mm -hmm. mean, most people like I did a Conan. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. I did a Conan. I had TV credits and still had a day job. Like I did, I had a live <laughs> yeah. Gotham because live Gotham you made six hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. I think we made fifteen. Yeah, maybe. But. It was, but it was like you, whatever you make, but you'd have to go because then you're like, man, I'm gonna Gosh, get what dude. if I get, yeah, I did Conan, just go back yeah. to your regular job the next day. And you're, and then you're like, God, if someone's going right, you just think someone's gonna recognize, hey, were you on Conan last night? <laughs> yeah. And you're just working. like in the street, like in the subway or something. You're no, like, I thought like, yeah. that at my job, it I had was, one yeah. job where I worked in the Kravitz Center, I think this is called in New York, and I was just, I had a, t-shirt that had like a question mark on it and my you worked conventions so okay. someone's supposed to just come up to you and be like hey do you know where the bathroom is do you know where this is at and you just are there to just help point at us stuff and so yeah. it was like i was doing that like after a and i remember just all day i was like i was on tv last night <laughs> and not one person asked me if i was on tv last night. <laughs> they asked Ooh. you where the bathroom yeah, was where the bathroom is. <laughs> not one person asked there. hey if you were on the tv last were night were you on tv <laughs> yeah. what oh yeah i get i guess i'll always get asked this probably my entire life but this weekend i had a great set got off stage and the guys said now do you do comedy full-time oh really yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, i've yeah, always same. been asked I that bet. i thought it would go away i, but I, I like that it. i like that yeah when you get asked i because people, like people, they don't assume they think you're like dumb i don't mind i don't mind that at all you don't mind people thinking you're dumb no they're just thinking the unassuming <laughs> about like what we do yeah i don't have any problem with that really he's like like if you think we're i'm in the perfect position if you think that I, th I do other stuff because yes. you don't want people to like 
Because it makes you look like uh, it probably this, a regular this guy. Young yeah. Kid. yeah, I think it hurts more for someone that is barely doing it for a living. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> Sorry, I mean it was. I don't know how not to do it. Yeah, exactly. How do I not? You should have done it. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I like. We get, I didn't want to do that. I was going to say it if he didn't. Yeah, I didn't, like, I didn't no, want any we get like from our like booking. Like booking at johnchriscomedy.com and somebody's like, hey, we saw you last night. Our youth group has a lock in next it fall. Can you come? I like that you saw what I uh-huh. did and you thought I could, yeah. I would do yeah. that. Mm. Can you forward me that email? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you're still going to. I, yeah, yeah. I think most of, I think my agents get tons of offers that are just insane where it's yeah. someone's like, can you come to my house for $300? And, all That's this good, kind of, yeah. That, yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's, it means you it, people, and I, you know, I don't. People just have no idea. Yeah, no idea. And, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you're going to get that kind of stuff. I still, I've had a, a like a, but it'll be like someone I don't know that doesn't know me at all. Like this is going to have now where people no one's going to say you do it full time. But I still have people. They're like, this is what you do. Like mm-hmm. this is yeah, yeah. when they don't know you at all and they just <laughs> find out you're a comic. It's mm-hmm. like. Uh, that kind of stuff you, yeah but it gets it was i remember it, it being because they would just say it kind of down they were kind of like yeah it wasn't yeah, like yeah. man and this is like you're uh, you know you you could be like obviously it's your full-time gig you know you just want to son yeah it's a tough thing to ask but they, it's always asked as like you do this full and like time? notching yeah. Yeah. notching you down somehow and you're like yeah. all right man like yeah you know you yeah, think we said? You go. I, you go. You just saw the show. He goes. I know. I did just <laughs> see the I show. I thought you were full time. Full time. Before. Full yeah. time. So this is what you do, huh? Yeah. What? Here's fifty bucks. People pay for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I Learn guess something new a, every day. Is it? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But the, I, the things that you're like joking about are very like regular things, like eating McDonald's. Yeah. Or like those are things that like rich people don't do. Do uh, they? Uh, what's your point John? Trump ate McDonald's no remember yeah. when we had that show at the golf course yeah the very first we like legend yeah yeah I was doing these jokes I had these jokes about fast food and then it's all the people at the golf course that are members of the country club and I go I was at McDonald's and I go McDonald's is like a you know yeah, like a re- yeah, and it was like hilarious because yeah, yeah. they were they, were like, they yeah. own some McDonald's yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like a place where like people you ever seen they were like ugh <laughs> never, like that place you know uh-huh. they're, yeah but they would yeah. still assume that about you that I go and to me McDonald's? and all of us, yeah. I think they think I go to me. I do go to McDonald's. Yeah, so do I. Do. Yeah. But uh, well, I said somebody, somebody uh, ordered one of the guys in the crew ordered uh, Uber Eats to the tour bus this weekend, mm-hmm. and I was like, he was going to go out and like I don't. I go, hey, give them also this twenty dollars. Like tip them also this because they're definitely going to go. Who's in that bus yeah. on the way home? And see and think it's you yes. who ordered it. And me, I go, hey, like, also tip this. <laughs> yeah. Because I, yeah, because <laughs> it's gonna come back on me always. <laughs> yeah, John Chris tipped a dollar yeah. on a door <laughs> jerk delivery. You just want to share that story about tipping. No, nah, I just tried to get that in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had it, I had a couple other things. That was the main thing I wanted to say. Yeah. So <laughs> I didn't give him the hundreds I yeah. had, but whatever you else know, you guys want to talk about as long as I got I that had, in. Yeah. <laughs> I like they that. They ordered five hundred dollars worth of food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for 20 bucks where were you at <laughs> i was in uh atlanta oh yeah i, I did a show for oh, yeah. uh dunwoody christian school had to wear a suit for the first time wow on stage yeah Dang, dude. how'd you like that first i did not like it but i got used to it <laughs> yeah how long were you up there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. this is like the jokes these are the long. jokes 12, 12 minutes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, first didn't care for it, but then I really settled in there towards the end. <laughs> this weekend, he's out in a suit. You yeah, know? yeah. I'm, I would love to wear a suit. Yeah. Well, you could. Nobody's stopping you. <sighs> but that I would go against. I think it would change everything. I think it would change act. everything. It's the I think shoes. I could as I get older. My, uh, I don't. Have, you probably have like cool, comfy shoes with a suit. I just had these very tight dress shoes that were very uncomfortable. Yeah. And I was slipping around <laughs> up there. I do a but lot. But why of, did you have to wear a suit? It was a soiree event. I didn't know what a soiree was. I thought it sounds fancy. A soiree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that mean it was a party? I don't know, but apparently. But mm-hmm. I said, it looked like it was kind of fancy. So I emailed the lady two days before and I said, hey, just 
what's the tire for so me? So you didn't have to wear a suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, um, and I thought maybe I should wear a sport because she said, um, it's a cocktail dress event. So she said, you don't have to wear a tux, but a suit will be fine. Oh. Were they wearing tux? Position. No, there was, the headmaster was wearing a tux, and maybe one other person. Everybody else had did suits they, on. You probably looked just like a teacher there, but you walked in with a suit. <laughs> I did. I mean, you had to. The, the audience is like, "Guys, is he one more teacher than a comedian." Yeah. You do yeah. comedy full time. <laughs> <laughs> that was what it, it was. The lady who hired me. Comedy. It was yeah. <laughs> yeah, and but I always say, I have always I always say that about like whatever. I was like, yeah, but I'm a, I'm the comedian, so I don't. Well, I'm not in these rules. You, 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 that's a, that's a true argument. Cause that, that can be done. I, well, always, like the I feel uncomfortable yeah. about like, sometimes I'll feel uncomfortable. If, like everybody's really, if everybody's wearing a suit, I would want to know that. I, went I with might you not wear it. Where yeah. that happened. And I might not, where did a, in was, Houston. Yeah. Was I wearing a suit? No, or, but you, yeah. t- you told uh, one of your people, yeah. Hey, next time, let me know. Yeah. I go, just uh, tell me. And I, yeah, I yeah, necessarily yeah, might yeah. not wear a tie, but I'd maybe wear, a, I would wear a, a pool. You know, I mean, what is it? The a coat, a jacket, a jacket. or something. Like that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a sports sports jacket. Well, yeah. You know, a sport blazer. A blazer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's clearly there. It is. It's I would he doesn't uh, even own one. I, but I would have done that. Like yeah. just so you don't look like a buffoon, right? Yeah. yeah, and then I'm going up there in jeans and a jacket with a hoodie on, you know, and then you're like, oh, dude, I don't know, everybody's in tuxes, but I yeah. wore a suit on stage a few times. I d- I definitely don't mind it. I would, you know, and this part of me, I, 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 maybe, maybe once I pass 50, I'll flip suit. into a suit. Well, John Mulaney does. That's yeah. the only guy I know that like the, always does, right? A Steve, oh, Steve Byrne does. Steve, Steve Byrne, Byrne wears a yeah, suit. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. like part of the, like, I know there's like a, every, there's like all the comics that have like dresses, like their, like bow tie. Mike Goodwin mm-hmm. is like bow tie comedy mm-hmm. or like, the, I know the, the guy with the tie. I know that he was, the, the, he was like in, in uh, what was he in Denver when I was coming up? It was the guy with the tie, and I was like, he wore a vest. That was like kind of the thing. Steve Hofstetter, <laughs> yeah, same Hofstetter thing. wears the tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like part of the, your thing. There's another guy in New York. He was from Chattanooga, but he, uh, I know it. No, that's Pat, the, uh, Pat Dixon. Pat Dixon. <sighs> what did he wear? Suit. Yeah, yeah. he always wore a suit. Yeah, yeah. But it's like part, it's kind of part of the like Derek who comes out with us all the time. We wear it's a very. That's like part. Of, like the jokes yeah. make more sense because of the yeah. outfit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You go, oh, I, I, how he's dressed. He dresses is like what a he JV is. strength coach. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's they, talking about kids being real trend, not kids, but like when I was like that. It, it that fits. lines up. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. did. Uh, yeah, I would. I my act. I never felt like a suit. That's yes, that's a suit act. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like it didn't really feel like suit. It's Brian. I think you get older. Yeah, it's smart. Like a suit, smart. Yeah, <laughs> intelligent, intelligent, regal. Yeah. I would yeah. say. Yeah. That's he needs to show it. the audience that he has made money before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a suit, suit I'll be buried in. Yeah, yeah. 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 This suit's seen it all. Emmys. Yeah, <laughs> I want a suit that can do everything. Emmys, funeral show, <laughs> one suit, like crank. graduation, yeah. graduation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where were you at? I was in Texas. I did a fun run all through Texas, Dallas, Houston, and then San Antonio for the mm, weekend. That's fun. a lot of people oh, yeah. came out, man. Yeah, it was very fun. Dallas, that club. How come he's allowed to say that and no one says anything to him? And I what? say one thing about tipping twenty dollars and I get crushed. I always said a lot of people came out. Yeah, because uh, not we don't. He's just starting to do that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Okay. we're letting him, we're letting him have some run with it. You know, so. I did a club on a Wednesday night. John. Yeah, I can I say <laughs> so. A lot of people came out. Yeah, yeah. look. He got made, made twenty dollars. There were some yeah. curtains closed. <laughs> yeah, all weekend. Oh, yeah. We were closing no. curtains. No, which is, which that's I love right. a curtain. They didn't even have a curtain. They went bought yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I a closed, curtain. I've had curtain oh, yeah. clothes. San Antonio, one show they opened up the curtains. That's a good feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and then the next show, you're like, let's put them back up. Yeah, <laughs> you know. When I did uh, PPG Arena, they had the top curtain on the very top row behind yeah. me. Uh, but I flexed. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Just behind. <laughs> it's not even, not even Ford. <laughs> because they had the curtain. It was behind me, so no one was up there. Yeah. But uh, they had a curtain closed. No, the, the, our yeah. famous, oh, yeah. our yeah. famous curtain closing was Caroline's. 
Caroline's oh, yeah. on Broadway. Wonderful club oh, yeah. that I've closed that down one. that breaks my heart. Yeah. And but they had a big curtain go down the middle. So it could be like 300 people uh, or it yeah. could be cut down to like 120 yeah. or mm-hmm. something. And I mean, it was just such a long, you would just know when it's your time to go to the show and then you see someone just like <laughs> carrying the yeah, curtain. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And it just being all shut down. We're not getting. No, we'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. What if a lot of walk-ups come? Trust me. We left. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. I think I had pipe and drape on uh, curtains on the fifth row of one of my shows one time at a church. There was no. They put them in the fifth row, <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, but they came in from behind them. Yeah. So they know <laughs> this church is huge, mm-hmm. and they just put it in, right on the fifth row. The stage is deeper than the yeah. <laughs> than the house." <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's like this doesn't yeah. this doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, because I can put them on any row. Just yeah, because that because the church was whatever, two thousand seats, and there was sixty people there, maybe. Wow, maybe. And you're like, just let's do another room. Yeah, or, or just like, y'all it. just come sit on stage. Yeah, yeah. Just do it in the lobby and set the seats. I've up. had I've yeah. done a show where it was we just put the people on stage because there was that <laughs> little of people. Really? Yeah. That it was <laughs> it was enough that it goes. We're just going to close the curtain completely. Yeah. The curtain on the stage and just set chairs up behind the curtain and then you just do a show in front of those people in the stage. I've seen I've done a show that short. And then uh I did an arena in uh Canada and the when you walk to it, so if you ever you know, go to imagine going any sold out arena show, uh, and the stage is at the very end, yeah. right? And yeah. then everybody sits out forward. If you've been to music, anything you can yeah. picture that. Ours was set up like that, but I performed on the side. Worst. That's usually the thing that's closed. <laughs> oh. It was, oh. yeah. I oh, walked yeah, in, yeah. dude, and my stage was just jammed up against the basic hockey ring, like all as uh, yeah, close they, as they could yeah. get it. Uh-huh. And you're just talking to like a very sporadic group of people. <laughs> they were very wonderful, <clears throat> but it was. I remember, Crowd was I remember great. The people that were there yeah, were great. I remember yeah. walking into the arena, and it took uh, usually. From backstage, you're to the front pretty quickly. This one, they <laughs> oh. had oh, you had to walk multiple, all across the oh yeah oh that. they had oh, yeah. they had multiple semi trucks <laughs> just parked backstage. That's how much room they had backstage. <laughs> and I mean, they could have made it. They could have made a turn. That's how <laughs> like there wasn't. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't have had to back it. They're like just swing it around. One more. Hey, we could turn all the way around. Yeah, <laughs> I heard somebody say on a podcast. I think recently they go if a comedian they go if I knew. A successful comic. Because if I knew, I if I had to do it all over again, I I, I couldn't. Like if you had, to, oh. I couldn't do it. it. It was so yes. All those, all that stuff is so emotionally. All those colleges and all those soirees, yeah. like it's just so <laughs> emotionally taxing that you go. I, I couldn't do well, it. That's again. true. So would, many things in life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't. I, I couldn't do it just, again. No children. No. Yeah, I think it's uh, you. you could, children <laughs> just we're talking about just something dumb and fun <laughs> and just the weight of the world thrown over here just a gravity the blanket the gets dumped yeah. on the table i got a one and a half year old right now things are tough yeah, yeah. bad news babe. do it again uh <laughs> it's uh no but yeah it would be just because when you do it the first time yeah. you can't believe you're even doing shows yeah, so yeah, you're, I mean, yeah you have no i mean stuff yeah. stuff still stuff hurts and it's brutal yeah but uh, when you have when you're not selling when it doesn't really matter about selling tickets because you're, yeah. you're, you're just you're not there. to a point where yeah. yeah that's expected yeah you but to go yeah go back to that stuff now I mean it would like we did that we heart. did the the Elkhart County Fair and like all like leading up to it it's like we were selling like average of what I sell in a mm-hmm. city and they were like yeah but the, the it's did you do ever do one with me I did, did the do, Washington State yeah Fair they were like you. well the the it's on the racetrack. Mm-hmm. And there, it's an mm-hmm. eighteen thousand seats. Oh yeah! Like, I go, oh. <laughs> but we're selling well, yeah. like three, four thousand. Yeah, and I, you should be thrilled. Which is a ton, yes, yeah. a ton. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, for three months, I go. All my buddies are like, dude, we we're coming. I go, don't come. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's so big. It's it makes it, it look so seat. big. Yeah. Yeah, I did. When I first did the San Diego fair, it was great. But I was, my stage was pushed all the way to the end of the grandstand. Yeah. So you just, they just push you all the way. You wouldn't be in the middle. You're just like, 
Yeah. You're just like a corner of the grandstand because based on how many tickets they sold, they set the stage that night and how far Basically. back. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a little bit before they knew. Yeah. They were like, I don't think we're about to have 10,000 walk ups. <laughs> so 10,000 people <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it always ends up, it probably always ends up, everything you're stressed about, it ends up great. Yeah. The shows are good. Fairs always are always, fa it's fun. Fairs are hard because you think, because they are so big. I mean, it can be a stadium type thing oh, yeah, where you yeah. do a fair where you want to go. I don't know if I'm this famous to be doing yeah. some of these big. Thanks big for things. putting me on the roster with all these other yeah. Yeah. Keith Urban and like uh -huh. all these other monster Boys to acts. Man. Yeah. But we went to the same place. Alaska State Fair was great. Yeah. But that was, was like 3,000 or something like that. Which so that's it wasn't, so many. It was great. How, how big was the thing? It was about, I mean, it was packed oh, where, they, where he did it. was. Uh, I'm sure they could make it yeah. bigger, but it was like very set up very yeah. well. So just when everybody listening, when they when somebody, artist, musician, or comedian says, we found some, we, f we added some more seats. Mm -hmm. That means yeah. <laughs> they thought it was going to be this and they just popped them back one section. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, whatever I say, no. a few tickets left, that means yeah, yeah. there's a lot of tickets. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> You'll have no yeah. trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I did radio and they were like, hey, uh, you're going to be at Houston. We, any tickets left for the show? I, like, I think there's a couple. Yeah. Can you call in right go, now. Go fast. Yeah. Uh, a few too many. <laughs> Tickets are going fast. The curtain. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. yeah. It's been on but, sale for six but months. But usually when some people say we just opened up uh, tickets. Some of that yeah, is like yeah. you have comps and y'all, and they yeah, release the comps. Really, it could yeah. be a sold out show yeah. that goes, we just opened up 12 tickets because yeah. of whatever. Doesn't Taylor Swift, I think she's, she just puts them behind and they just have a screen behind in the uh, stadium. See that? Is that true, Aaron? I don't know. Aaron? <laughs> Aaron? I don't know. What did he go? You're her friend. No, That's he's right. friends with oh, yeah. they did. personal friend. Yeah. I think behind you're like you can get in there less, but yeah. there's she has like a there. thousand people show up just to stand outside the arena. Yeah, you've seen those videos. That's insane. Like on the bridge and yeah, do it. yeah. I mean, when we first started, we would just sleep on our buddy's couch, and now we all sleep on Helix mattresses. Oh, nice. Uh, Helix Sleep is our favorite premium mattress brand <laughs> that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique, I keep looking at John for some reason, 20 unique mattresses, including the award-winning Lux Collection, the new Helix Elite Collection, a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, <laughs> and even a mattress made just for kids. <laughs> you gotta be watching. You gotta be watching YouTube for that one. Yeah. <laughs> for big, tall, and for kids. Yeah. Something for everyone. Roasted. Um, <laughs> they take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes. I do have the XL Helix <laughs> mattress. You do. You put in your weight, and it suggests what you. And I got the XL one, a little more uh, protection. This, this is what you're gonna need. A little more yeah. padding there. Yeah. And it's an awesome mattress. Yeah. They offer a 100 night trial to try out your new Helix mattress. 100 nights and offer a 10 to 15 year warranty depending on the model and over 12,000 five star reviews. Helix supports, supports the military, first responders, teachers, and students by giving them a special discount on site. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash Nate and use code HelixPartner20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long with Helix. Better sleep starts now. All right. My buddy named Johnny, we went on a mission trip to uh, Morocco. This is like when I was in college. And he slept. He practiced. He was, there was gonna, it's like bad sleeping conditions down mm -hmm. there, like an orphanage or something. like. So he slept on the floor in his house for three days before he went down there to get his body in <laughs> his back. For three days. For body, get his body in his back used to sleeping on the floor. I thought you were going to say like three months. No. Maybe three days. Yeah. You can't get acclimated in three days. But you could probably, if you didn't have anything, do you think you could sleep on the floor? Oh, I sometimes I prefer to sleep on the floor. It's straight up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But not when I have my Helix mattress. Yeah, yeah, when I have my Helix yeah, mattress, yeah, I, say, I wouldn't think of sleeping on the floor. But sometimes hotel room, weird bed, you know? Yeah, it's at 100 nights. Right I don't think you need a night. To figure out if the mattress is going to be the one for you. You don't need a hundred, but they, <laughs> gave, you, they nights give you a hundred. So many, dude, just to be nice. But yeah, okay. that's like the it's like the similar with the Domino's pizza. You know, they're like, if you're not satisfied with this pizza, send it back. I go, no one that has received a pizza to their door, no matter what's on, it's going to send it back. You're not sending it back for another hour to get a different. You're no, eating yeah, whatever. I'll eat whatever they. Whatever that's why they say it. Yeah, because yeah. it that's sounds like well, it's a great deal. Sending a mattress back. How would you? I don't, it's a lot yeah. of work. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. 
Somebody's got to come over. it back up into that box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, <that> vacuum <laughs> seal it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, football comments. <laughs> Read you guys' comments. It's like a Byron Allen trance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one. You play football, right, Aaron? <laughs> well, we're going to edit all that nonsense y'all talked while I was gone. So I figured. No, nah, I don't know. It seemed like it was fun. We were doing an ad read. Yeah. Uh, no, it seemed like a good time. Mark Grossman. If I could change the rule in the NFL, I would make kickoff field goals legal. That would require the kicker to get the ball over 75 yards deep and over 10 feet high to clear the crossbar. This could result in a team scoring up to 11 points on a drive and allow teams losing by a small margin to remain competitive. All right. I don't mind that. Oh, bad. kickoff field goal. You'd have to have okay. that, that, that. It's going to have to go back. Now they Even would more. make them all day. You yeah, think? you got to move the ball back a bit. Well, they're make they're kicking them through the end zone so easy. It's yeah. like I know it, the accuracy is harder, but they you need to you'd have to move it back a little bit, and then you Maybe could five yards. You know, be you, you could just end up doing. Uh, if you don't make it, they get it at the twenty five. If you do make it, they get it at the five, or something. Oh, you know? Some kind. Yeah. That's so. Yeah. Far. Has anyone ever done it? Yeah, they 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 kick them through all the time. I did a my draw bar came out. Uh, oh yeah, last week and came on Thursday. I had a corporate that night, so I finally get back to my hotel room and I'm getting blown up with DMs from people. I'm like, oh man, why'd you point at me for that? Dry, I, I, <laughs> yes. Even you know, uh, you're, the, you're, the DM, yeah. you're the DM king, baby. <laughs> this is what you do. DM all day. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking, what well, my drive bar's blowing up, and it's all people watching Thursday night football. Let me know that. Do you know what I'm going to say? Yeah. Yeah. The rule that I said mm -hmm. about going through the end zone, I mean, everybody's like, you got to let Nate know. He said it never <laughs> happens. And oh, it, did, he, did he trash it, you for it? When we, well, when he just said it was I just said, a dumb I rule because it never happens. I don't agree with the rule. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine with not doing it, but I was like, I don't think that happens enough that it's it like, if I had to pick a rule. The next night. The next <laughs> night, it happened. The next night. Vindicated. I think, I think right. in some version, it happens every every weekend in college or pro. To. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Do you I don't see it up. going through the end zone. Yeah, and then it's a touchback. You fumble it. Oh, yeah. It's a turnover touchback. Oh, the ha yeah. Because then the everybody Vikings would did. just, the, the argument on the other side is everybody just like fumble it down the field. Yeah. But it should be – you shouldn't lose the ball. Yeah. You would be out of the one. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I bet there's a way that – I bet it's kind of like you got to have your hands on it because then it could be like you could hit your hands and then you – you know, it's like, well, did you catch it? Did you not? I'm sure there's a reason. But uh, I, but I, you're right. Uh, you're right. A it lot happened. of people calling for the exact same rate, uh, rule change too on Twitter. So. Yeah, that was the whole reason he brought it up. I know, but I'm oh. saying a lot of people are saying let's change the rule yeah. instead of it just happened and – People yeah. are not happy with it now. Maybe put it back on the 20, but you still get to keep it. Because if you're out on the one, you have it at the one. If it goes mm -hmm. in, the other team gets it yeah. at the 20. Yeah. Yeah. Bates was, <laughs> yeah. Bates was right. So no one watched my dry bar, but yeah. I felt yeah. better because <laughs> I would much rather have this. Joshua Clay Lott. Who are, what are these? These are emails from listeners? Uh, mm -hmm. Comments. Okay. Like from uh, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram YouTube. YouTube. Okay, and emails. It. Yeah. Uh, Joshua Clay Lott. Put a crossbar at the top of the goalpost connecting the two posts. Let's make it a huge rectangle. There will be a lot more strategy involved kicking and would ask for more accuracy. Yeah. I don't that hate would be that. fun. I don't hate that. Wow. Yeah. You can't go as as if you're on the 10. You can't just pound it. Yeah. Gotta, those short kicks yeah. will be tough. You got to chop yeah. it. Yeah. The short kicks will be tough, but the even the long – I mean – but you could do – you probably do more where you have to kick it lower. Maybe the you have to go back up. You know, be like, all right, well, the snapper needs to snap it mm -hmm. farther than normal because we need to get a low one. Like there'll be more blocked kicks. Mm -hmm. That would be more exciting. And it's Ooh. more obvious if they made it or don't make it. You know, baseball, when they change the rules, they just try it out in the minor leagues. They just roll it out to see how it will play. Yeah, you can't practice. But there's no there's no infrastructure to do that for the NFL. There's no open mic. CFL. There's no open mic. I yeah. guess that we could treat the Canadian Football League. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they used to have NFL Europe, but I think that went away. Oh, good. <laughs> There was a guy that blocked one this week that blocked a field goal because he timed it perfectly. Did you see that? No. He got a running start. He was like out where a receiver oh, was, ran yeah. in, and then yeah. he ran as soon as yeah. they 
And they yeah. did it because he timed. He what, ran what? sideways to get running, and mm-hmm. then right when they snapped it, he veered off to the left and ran. And you have to time it. it perfectly, but he timed with the kicker. He watched the kicker yeah. on a film. guy. Yeah, a guy was saying like, "This is probably going to change the game. You're going to see this now." Wow. He was a patriot. Yeah, because the kicker they, does the exact so same smart. routine. You well, watch the kicker, not the guy snapping yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, but he and he just he just knows when to take off running, uh-huh. and then yeah, I mean, if you genius, if you just have to time it out. You know, but yeah. yeah. Trevor Burkett, Nate, when you're in Cleveland in, in November, if you have time, take a quick trip down to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, and they have a helmet you can put on and listen to a play call. They, oh, I, I like that. So you know, because you always see them. You can, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You can do it. John mimed it. Yeah, for those <laughs> listening, that's good radio uh, right there, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody stop. Uh, they also have a lot of other interactive materials and a lot of great memorabilia. Love listening to your show and can't wait to see you in November. All right. Trevor Burkett, guy apparently owns the Hall of Fame in Canton. He <laughs> we said, went to the uh, like guy that owned it. He would tell you where you should go. Come on down to the Hall of Fame. We went to I the would love uh, to hear that, though. Wichita, Canada. We went to the zoo. Yeah, because you got to go to you got to go somewhere. Are you on? No, if you go into he's saying you got to think of a thing to do during the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a speaking of things, you have to. What do you do when you go when you get there? Huh? What do you do when you get to a city? I might go to the zoo. Yeah, you might go to. I might go to golf. Yeah, you play golf. No, I barely have time now. It's hard to play golf. I mean, it's four hours. Yeah, I want to try to play. I was thinking about trying to. I'm almost like either practice or play some nine, but I don't know. It's just so hard. It's a lot. And and doing I, a show. I, I gotta, yeah. yeah, I gotta do a show. This is too much, do you think? No, no, I could see doing that. Something <laughs> like that's good where you go drive down there and you just go see it and you walk through it pretty quick. Mm-hmm. But comics are not always going to be the most like, we're not going to really go take it all in. Yeah, we're going there, we're looking to spend a couple hours just mm-hmm. to be getting out of if that, that. Yeah, all right. yeah, and then yeah, we're yeah. just kind of like breeze through it. Then out of nowhere, I'll just be like, we gotta go, let's yeah, go now. We can't do it, we can't <laughs> do it anymore. You weirdly get. Just kind of, I, I can't do this thing. I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's every know. comic. Yeah. I, I don't know. If it's every comic. I do it all. It's me for sure. Yeah, all right. I go. That's, all right, we're done. All right, yeah. that's enough. Got I gotta. It. Yeah. You know what are we doing? <laughs> uh, Scott Johnson, Babe Ruth hit 159 home runs in his first 674 career games, and had a 35 and 18 win loss record in his first 455 career innings pitch. Sh- Shohei Atani hit 160 home runs. In his first, no? Shohei. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't that all. Hey, right. yeah, yeah. Shohei Atani. He'd turn around. Shoei, yeah. And that's like Shoei. 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 That's like saying Ken Griffey Jr. Like, <laughs> he's so popular. Ken you shouldn't miss Ken that Griffey. one. Shohei Otani <laughs> hit 160 home runs in his first 674 career games and had 35 and 19 win loss record in his first 45. 455 career innings pitch. So it's the same it's the same thing. It makes Aaron look stupid. Yeah. Mm. So Babe Ruth and do I don't think it, it does. Aaron's what is this what is this a uh, a reference to when I said that the comparison uh, is baseball. silly? Baseball. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know that. I can't remember what I said Nate, about it though. Nate said you said no one's ever it's done what he's done and Nate yeah. said Babe Ruth and he was like it's 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 ridiculous. completely different. You said yeah. Well, I'd have to dig into the numbers. I mean, if you want to, well, I mean, yeah, I'll be honest with you. Scott Johnson dug into. <laughs> yeah, I think there's <laughs> those are out. those are them. I go, I yeah, I'm <laughs> sure you can right find here, some buddy. numbers that yeah, look into it. fit your argument. Look, you know, you know what that guy? You know what the um the guy it, he was up to bat. Shohei Otani was up to bat last year. You yeah. hear about that guy that got fired? He was up to bat. Shohei Otani was up to bat. You can look this up. And he goes. So we did the Elmer Fudd impression. No, he goes. He, he goes. One, uh, Jack Morris. I think it, he plays. For, he used to be for the White Sox. They were playing the White Sox. Uh-huh. He goes on TV. They go. How do you pitch to Otani? And he goes. Be very, very careful. He said that <laughs> he was doing. Oh, really? He was, he was doing, doing Elmer Fudd. He was doing Elmer Fudd, but it sounded like he was doing an Asian accent. Yeah. Why would he do Elmer Fudd? Because that's a. I know that's you, you, you didn't watch cartoons as a kid. No. Okay. Wow. But there's. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know Elmer Fudd? Yeah, I know from yeah. like Bugs Bunny, Six Flags. I'm hunting rabbits. Yes. He yeah, said, hey, very careful. Oh, so he, oh, it, it. but it sounded he would say, Asian. be very, very careful. Honey, yeah, to, yeah. But oh, so it did in the context of Shohei Otani being a bat. It did seem like he was doing an Asian. Oh wait, voice. is that true? Yeah, I think so. I think it was an Elmer yeah. Fudd voice. It was just unfortunate. Yeah, timing for him. <laughs> yeah. 
Be very, very careful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was wild. I mean, he probably thought of it the night before. Yeah. He probably was like, <laughs> he was oh, it's perfect. To it. Oh, because yeah. you know, uh, the... Um, Ask me this. <laughs> the uh, Travis Kelsey, he scored a touchdown this, and he's been rumored to be dating Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. And the and Ian Eagle, who's the announcer, goes, and he found a blank space, and he's open for the touchdown. He oh, said that's that. that's pretty nice. And that's one of her hit songs. By I would have been proud yeah. of that. And it was like yeah. all over Twitter because yeah. you're like, dude, that if I I, w I would be like, oh, I got one. Yeah, you would have written a yeah. hundred. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you're like Mark Jackson, and you're announcing the NBA finals and LeBron has you. Ha I'm sure you have like a bit, not a bit, but a line, at least. A yeah, phrase. yeah. You have stuff in the holster. You try yeah, to squeeze you, it in that you're hoping <laughs> that situation gets. I remember the, the yeah. Auburn, Oregon game, the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, Brent Musburger calling the game, and it was a field goal at the end of the game. And he said, this one's for all the Tostitos. And I remember that he thought of that. Oh, yeah. He had that line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had it in the holster. Yeah, I think they know they're going to say it, and they got it just a matter of. But yeah, it's like one of those things where if you out. get it, you're like, oh, yeah. And if you don't, it doesn't. It just goes over your head. Everybody wants their, do you believe in miracles? Yes. Everybody wants their iconic line. You I can't think remember the last time there's been an iconic sports line like that. I wonder if you should get somebody in uh, here. Better than yeah. most. What is that? Tiger Woods, when he makes a real long putt. He goes, better than most. Better than most. And he made this crazy long putt on the... Uh, uh, I haven't heard that. Oh, it's a giant one. Huge. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll look at better that. than most. Did you think he goes, he tells the other guy, yo, I got this Travis Kelsey line. Yeah. Or do you think he just like keeps it? Yeah. Better than most. Yeah, yeah, you start it, and then the guy ruins it. And yeah. Yeah. Better than most. He goes... It's a pretty good putt. Better than could you? <laughs> that was my time. Yeah. 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 How do you not know better than most? But you're bringing up the Tostitos. Well, this is all the Tostitos. Yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> Acting like I'm crazy for knowing better than most. And your your most famous line, you know, is this is for all the Tostitos. Is that what? Is that what He's you said at home? Us, is like... that what you said at home a lot? <laughs> you go, this one. This is for. We were a big Tostitos family yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, you're like, oh yeah, that's me. I was trying to think. Mike Mike Keith had the Music City Miracle call. Mm -hmm. the Titans, yep. yeah. But is there like a line from that that's still quoted? Well, he said it's a miracle, and that's how it kind of became. Did known he say it's a Music City, City miracle? miracle? He didn't say. Oh, music, really? But the Titans, it's a miracle. The Titans have pulled off a miracle, and okay. then it started being called the Music City miracle. Okay, but that's yeah, fun. he wouldn't have planned that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, I think some of it is really. I would imagine. Do you believe in mir miracles? Is off the cuff, like that's just an emotion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I would, like. Those are going to be the best ones. The one where the person doesn't even realize they probably said it. Yeah, really. So all what, you can all you can do as an announcer is like you're going to be canceled now <laughs> at some point because you're well, now like baseball announcers got three and a half. Hours. Imagine if we had to call a game, <laughs> oh, and we got four. If you yeah. had two guys and you're just like, eh, that's right, and you're just like, yeah. anyway, you're gonna say something dumb. You're gonna, about the yeah. you're gonna say <laughs> something that's yeah. gonna, and they're gonna be out. And you're yeah. like, dude, God, dude, I was talking. About, you know how hard it is to talk that long four hours <laughs> and not say something racist. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah, it's not even our fault. Yeah, come on, yeah. give me a break, dude. Because <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> What's like the guy from? The guy? That's why they shortened baseball. The game, yeah. Guys, we didn't cancel. Yeah, yeah. Speed the game up. <laughs> That's fun. The Jack Buck um, call on Kurt Gibson's home run. Yeah. I don't believe what I just saw. That yeah. one's a famous call, but most people, that's not even how they learned of it because it was on TV. Mm -hmm. Vince Gully yeah. uh, had, um, I'm drawing a blank on it right now, but he's, the, I mean, most people watch the World Series on TV. Right. Vince yep. Gully call, but Jack Buck has kind of got the famous radio call that probably not many people Come even on. heard live. And that's the one, I don't believe what I just saw. Yeah, that was Jack Buck. Yeah. yeah. With with him doing the fist pump as he's rounding the bases. Yeah, yeah. That's my first. I want to say my first. One of my first memories of baseball. Watching that, that game. Watching this that one? game. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Runs that's an awesome. Yeah. Yep. When he was running and doing that. Wow. Kirk Gibson yeah. was it? Yeah. 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 Dodgers. What is the the um speaking of the goalpost when Alabama was oh, versus yeah. all the kick six that was oh my that was God. that's a, like we can't Auburn. listen to him can we? Yeah. we can't I, listen to I grew up an Alabama fan, but. Yeah, that was like good. <laughs> was Vandy's most iconic no, I don't call? Think they won't play it. Yeah, oh, won't go. Oh, the okay. rights. Yeah. Huh? What's Vandy's most iconic call? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, let's see. Baseball. When our field goal kicker got MVP. That was our Bulls punter. Game. Our punter. <laughs> That's even worse. Yeah. Our punter. Yeah. Oh, our punter. The girl. Vandy had a rough one. I mean, if you could have watched the Vandy UNLV <laughs> oh. game today, this week, 
go if you if you if I if I if I, if I told someone my brother in law is here, and we watched a Vanderbilt UNLV you know, LV game, and I said this is what it's like being a Vandy fan, <laughs> and it's a perfect game yeah. to show a career of being a Vandy <laughs> fan. Just seventeen and nothing immediately we're up. Yeah, they immediately tie it back up. Uh, pretty quickly, yeah. and then we get up, and then we have it. I mean, Vanderbilt tie ball game. We have an interception on their own on their thirty yeah. or something. An interception on their thirty, Tough. less than a minute left. What do you think? We did not win, but what do you think would have happened? <laughs> down, just down, run the ball up the middle and down it and run out the clock. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, we'll kick it, a field goal because it, it was tight. Oh, yeah, sure. oh, yeah. yeah, kick a field goal. So you yeah. think worst like worst case we'll go to overtime, right? Yeah. Yeah. We lose. In regulation. In regulation. <laughs> what happened? They we run the clock out to nothing. Try a field goal, miss the field goal. They get the ball it's back. It's a pretty short field goal, too. Yeah, not crazy it's long. Tied. But it's, it's tied. <laughs> I mean, it's like unreal. Like, oh, we're about to pull this game out. Uh, we missed the field goal. And then they throw a 40 yard bomb. They catch it, and then kick they a kick goal. a field goal and make it and they win. <laughs> That's a, being a Vandy fan in yeah. a minute, dude. It went yeah. from like them driving with one minute going, like, just please stop them to like, can you do we got an interception? Like, we got yeah, the, we could just kick it too, now yeah. if we wanted to. Mm-hmm. It was that close to then you don't think you could ever lose in that situation. You think mm-hmm. you could go to overtime. We're going to overtime. So and we call a, it, we call it, I'm sorry, we called a timeout. Remember also, we could have just let the clock run out and at least go to overtime. And we called a timeout. I don't know if you remember that. And the, yeah. and the coach was like, who called the timeout? <laughs> yeah. And then the next play, they throw a bomb. <laughs> yeah. Gone. <laughs> oh. And we lose the regulation. Oh, uh, we followed. called Yeah. Did that you, was us called it? Or? Yeah. Now, the, the, hold, hold your thought what you're about to say. No, the I'm, announcers uh, said, you know, um, I'm not, I'm surprised Vandy's yeah. not calling timeouts, you know, maybe get the ball back. And then sure enough, Vandy did call a timeout. And you read Clark Lee's yeah. lips. And he said, who called the expletive timeout? It's <laughs> like one of the kids. Who, who, I don't yeah. know. I th- and the I announcer's like, the oh, boy, I just read his like, lips. Yeah. And then you're like, well, I feel like you should call a timeout. And then the next play, they throw a bomb. And they're like, oh, that's why I didn't want the And then out. they called the timeout. They set one up. Yeah. Right, so, and then you, we and Vandy lost. I mean, it's just, always so easy to read a coach's lips for football games. Oh, I remember yeah. being a kid being like, whoa. They're mm-hmm. just yelling crazy mm-hmm. stuff at the team. Well, like if I, was, I followed the Falcons game yesterday on – on ESPN and the, you know, they have the win percentage. Yeah. So if you're up by four and there's a minute left and you have the ball, it's like 99. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. you're like, so that one must have been like, you're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, how? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we have the ball yeah. with a minute left, the win percentage is like 97. I don't think right. I ever give us over 40. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> I mean, if you're qualified a Vandy by, fan, yeah. I mean, I look, I love Clark Lee and I, I hope they, Vandy turns all this stuff around. We've had problems that they like, we, me, him, and our buddy Ryan text about Vandy all the time, but like, yeah. we have problems that go beyond, uh, oh, can you, there it is. Can yeah. you look at, the, how wow. do you do that? What do you mean? <laughs> so that's the win. That's this. the win. Vandy win percentage. Here's the win probability graph. And then so down that's right here at the end with with Eight. with 44 seconds left. No, it, it went Hold up. On, keep there going. Yeah, that's all the way. You can't zoom in a whole lot more. That's how quickly this changed. There it, it was 80 percent at one time. Right? Yeah. yeah, and then it <laughs> then it's <laughs> and then that's it's wild. Just, <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, it's crazy. They should I, have I that. Hope, oh, yeah, I mean, probably, we scored yeah. a lot of points. I mean, just. I you know I they should mean, have tough, that, man. but you it has to run it through tough. it has to run through like you or something to like adjust it for the, the, the reality. Mm-hmm. What's that? Scroll down to the fourth quarter just to see. So, <laughs> yeah. TD field goal field goal TD TD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh yeah. I mean, we went crazy. So, John, Hate to uh, see it. our favorite player plays for the Falcons. Who's that? From Vandy? Nate Landman. Who? Do you know Nate Landman? No. Nah. He, he had a big place uh, yesterday. He did, playing for the Falcons, right? Yeah. Oh, he plays? Nah. Yeah, who is yeah. it? Can you show this? It's right under it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Nate Landman. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Nate Landman. Yeah, you got to get him there on the pod. Oh, yeah. dude, he we follows got us. We've been following really? his career since he since the draft. Oh, that's his. He didn't mispronounce yeah. that. That's no. his no. real name. His yeah. name's Nate, Nate Landman. Nate Landman. Really? Nate yeah. Landman. And he, that's, yeah, he just made his first tackle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I guess everybody wants to DM'd about that. How'd you I find him? It, uh, somebody just, a fan sent it. A folk sent it to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's sweet. That's dude. so cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're Rooting for you, Nate. Let's go, baby. Uh, I'll be following him. Steven Sonderman. Throwing a football into the stands at an NFL game is a $7,000 fine. Probably why everyone is not running with Nate's brilliant, as always, idea. I don't know if that's a passive nice guy. <laughs> yeah. I can't really tell. I loved tell. it. Brilliant as yeah. always. Brilliant Jeez. as always. I still, I'd pay the seven grand. Mm-hmm. And then you yeah. and throw it back in the NFL and go, I wanted you to give that to charity. Mm-hmm. Surely. I take the football price out of it. Right. And but the rest of it goes to charity. Mm-hmm. They won't. They wouldn't do that. But who is it that yeah, had that? Yeah, uh, just you know, yeah, just do it every pressure. Yeah, yeah. public pressure. They they Can pressure me? everybody else. <laughs> no, it was the uh, Phil Palisaw is a comic that I came up with in Denver. He said if you get if you're in hockey, professional hockey player hits somebody else, it's fifteen thousand dollars. He's like, based on what they make, that's the equivalent of like you, like if you worked at McDonald's, hit somebody three dollars. You're like, I would do that every day. Oh, yeah. If that was the penalty, you could punch somebody in the face hour. for $3. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's like $3. So, yeah, or like whatever the equivalent is in right. that mo- in that kind of money Yeah, for what those guys make. I'd hit, right. hit them once and throw a 10 down. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the change. Yeah. I got two more coming. Yeah. That's the penalty. Yeah. Seven grand. But I guess if you, but if you're, if you're catching a foot, if you're a wide receiver, mm-hmm. that's no money to you. I think they maybe said second oh, yeah. offense is ten thousand. Hmm. It goes up, starts to add up. Yeah, yeah. Up. Straight cash, homie. Oh, that's, <laughs> Randy a, Moss. Oh, that's oh, a lot. That's an all time line. Dude. Well, yeah. uh, straight cash, homie. Uh, Kelsey kicks his in the stands a lot. Uh, yeah. He's rich. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's dating Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, William Feltz, Regis Philbin hosted a national game show phenomenon and was on TV every morning for like thirty years. Rudy was portrayed by a hobbit for 90 minutes. Is John Favre the second most famous Notre Dame alum, Nathaniel? Another passive aggressive. Mm. That's why I put it on here. Yeah. Why are they back to back? Uh, well, I, I, I liked it. I'm Brian sorry. Brian curates yeah. the comments. Golly. It's not obvious. No, no, so that's being you or being passive aggressive to me. Brian also wow, writes dude. most of these. Yeah. <laughs> if you picked them out, that William would be Feltz. you're coming. I thought they both made some good points. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have just said throwing football in stands in a game is a seven thousand dollar fine. That would be that's all you need. He I said other. Have, yes. He said the other. Stuff and then you put in, in for sure. He can't. Yeah, running with Nate's it. brilliant as always idea. Yeah. Like I mean. But that was the part that, that maybe I like read it. it. It's in a different font. I'm like, that's <laughs> just that's crazy. Added. Yeah. yeah. Then that one added in there. Is John Favre. Is that, I mean, golly. Now, it's basically two different arguments. I'm glad I'm going to be gone for a little bit. Though. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's two different arguments, I would think. So, Regis, Regis Philbin is obviously the more famous person. So, yep. he's probably the most famous Notre Dame alumni. That's a problem, but, by the way. What? That's their most famous alumni? I don't. Think well, he necessarily mm-hmm. is, but well, he's given a lot of money to the university. Okay. There's a lot named after. Him. Oh, I thought that's who you threw out. But anyway, I, it's a fun one to throw out. I think Nate's just saying if your argument is if you say name a someone who graduated from Notre Dame, Rudy, because mm-hmm. you know for sure I couldn't have told oh, yeah. you who Regis Feldman where he graduated college oh, from. Okay, that's fair. So Rudy's probably the, right. somebody that no, but nobody knows the real Rudy. Well, that's he's what, not that's what Aaron said last week. But you still know he went to Notre Dame. So this guy's making uh, yeah. fun of me <laughs> because I said Rudy. I said Rudy over Regis Philbin. Mm-hmm. Regis Philbin is, I'm sure, for a name like William Feltz, sounds like he's roasted. 80. Yeah. Yeah. Regis Philbin is a young whippersnapper to this guy. So, but I mean, you got to, people also got to realize I know who Regis Philbin. I know William does. Mm-hmm. We, Bates does. Yep. We're old. <laughs> Nobody knows who he. No one knows anybody Regis. thirty and under. There's no way Regis Philbin comes to mind. I mean, when he hosted no. the with Kathy Lee, the, or when, or yeah, when did, he did when did he when he hosted the who uh, wants to be a millionaire? I mean, that might. I don't. How long ago was that? It was the nineties. How old is he now? He was born in the nineteen thirty one. Oh, he died. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace. He's also well known. Original host of the nineteen from nineteen ninety nine to two thousand. How long did he host the 
who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire from 99 to... 2000. Uh, it's got to be more than a year, though. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Mer- Meredith Vieira took over pretty quick. I would say Regis... I, well, I said Rudy. I think you might go Rudy at first. You would just say Rudy. Held but, the Guinness World Record for most hours spent on U.S. television. Ooh, yeah, That's yeah. pretty crazy. It's crazy. It's all and, crazy. But go... Like, Do we have the full years of him running... Regis Who Francis? wants to be a millionaire? Like, how long was he... Uh, it was on like three nights a week. And that show was awesome, dude. You remember that? Yeah. 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 It was great. It's still on, I think. It, it uh, debuted in 1999, and then Meredith Fierre took over in 2002. But then but then uh, brought back 2004 four with Philbin. Wants to be a super millionaire. Yeah. It wasn't that, that long. It was like a show was that, that long, long. I mean, I so you're looking at 20 years ago, that show. Mm-hmm. So... You and gotta think if that, a guy, if I a person's was, born before there, that, yeah, they're twenty. They don't know who he is, right? So much less, even if a person's born in ninety seven, ninety eight, which is a twenty four year old, uh, even a thirty year old is like they would have been a baby. Yeah, they 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 wouldn't have even seen. Yeah, they might know him as Joey Bishop's sidekick on the Joey Bishop show in nineteen sixty seven. He's like the oldest show. Are they gonna know time. Rudy? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Rudy's just there's so many memes of Rudy mm. like the, the reason the, any of them know yeah, anything yeah, yeah. now is because the memes Harper will know some scene <laughs> from some movie mm. yeah, because of, of a meme yeah, yeah, yeah. so I don't know if Rudy has made it to the meme world but I think Rudy has a better chance with the younger Longitude, generation than Regis yeah, Philbin yeah. I would I could emotion. see saying Regis Philbin but I'm thinking about you know, I'm trying to do a joke on this, but it's you, stuff's older than you. you. You hit a point where you go, oh, That's old? like yeah. it's. I live in a different world than these yes. kids now. Yeah, yes. totally. Oh, we have a we talk about it on our podcast. So you could have about... just said that and not been <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> but maybe it's the back. Maybe I wouldn't have thought of it as. I don't I honestly. I don't know if I would have read it as aggressive because I didn't understand it at first. Why? Because it said Nathaniel. It. That's no, no, just part. because I forgot the whole thing. Well, obviously, I, I think you were still coming in hot from the previous comment. The guy who said yeah. you're brilliant as always ideas, and you kind of projected a little <laughs> bit onto William Fell. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't deserve that. So I think if you, Sorry, if William, William Fell's William. comment were earlier, you would have read it with a little more. If he, William Fell's could be even If younger, Nathaniel wasn't on young the young end too. of that, would that be a fine? Uh, Is John what? Favre the second most famous yeah, Notre Dame spelled right. Nathaniel spelled wrong. Uh, it's A-E-L, uh, which is the way we do it. Mm. That's a little fun fact. Nathan E.L. I think it's Bates throwing them back to back, which <laughs> yeah. is crazy. It's crazy. Put that up top. How would you put I mean, back to back? One, two, that three, four, comment. five, six. I'll emails. be sure to spread them out next time so it's yeah. not so obvious. Yeah. Dang. What have I done to you? <laughs> <laughs> That's for a different I, mean, podcast. I, mean, I haven't been around. <laughs> yeah. yeah He's like, I've oh, been oh, around. Wait, just wait. Have I been around? I haven't seen I, you in a while. Yeah. It feels like. Yeah. It's good to be back. What do you guys do on the podcast if he's not here? They we still put it out. Oh, y'all do it? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, like Dusty did it. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, because I'm gonna miss a few, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. missing a few because I'm yeah, on the What road. are the pe- what are they uh what do the fans say when you're not there? I guess they like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean so I know some people like it. <laughs> they do. You know? A lot yeah. of people, people like it. People try to be nice to us. Yeah, yeah. they say they So there's say no guest like host. It, but like they're excited when sometimes there's a guest host. There is a guest We're about to have Vecchione host. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. one because he's going to be here and I'll be gone. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we could have, you know, you could come in and host one. And, well, well, not host it. We'll see how this goes. Be, yeah. Well, John, yeah. yeah. John it just Land, would be off. You know? Yeah. It'd be yeah. all y'all. Yeah. You'd be in control of them too. That seems like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you put that, I'm going to put both that on your plate. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Yeah. yeah. New rules. Young and the, listen up. The young and the old. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> appliance part two comments. Yeah. So we talked about appliances one other time. <laughs> uh, appliance part one comments. We already we've already been through that. We're not doing those. Okay, yeah, we did two separate that. episodes on yeah. appliances, yeah. John. <laughs> okay, we may do a third. Yeah, yeah. So that's when I host. We were even talked about appliance. the laundry so room. Yeah. Appliances part three. Yeah. You will be like appliance a... part three. Yeah. Kate the Great. <laughs> If someone had told me that one day I would get extremely excited to see the word appliances part two, I wouldn't have believed them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How about that? They like it. Say to that. They mm-hmm. like if it. If I remember correctly, appliances part two is one of the hotter episodes we've done. In it a was while. hot. Yeah. And Kate the Great, is that, that's her at 
on Instagram or that's just her Facebook name or what is that? I yeah, I think that's her last Something. name. I believe that was YouTube. Her YouTube, YouTube. handle. YouTube. And you don't have a you, yeah. There's no comment on that. We just leave that alone. You can. I mean, oh. she's great. <laughs> Self proclaimed like Alexander. <laughs> well, yeah. he's great. What's that Seinfeld? Uh, well, he's a. Oh. Uh, uh, we call me Jerry the Great or something. Yeah, she's talking about the. It's talking about the maestro. Yeah. Well, he's a maestro. Well, I am great. Yeah. Um, something. Yeah, I don't know. Bro, that's uh, crazy. The water stays cold in that the whole time. I know. Yeah. Those cups are. All right. Oh, that's what we talked about. That was on <laughs> Appliances uh, Part One. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. My that bad. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We yeah. already talked about <laughs> Dang it, dude. Sorry. You're right. You're right. And people have uh, listened to this on a radio and no video. <laughs> yeah. So he's drinking out of uh, <laughs> a cup that's uh, insulated. <laughs> it does. It, there's no and, ice in it. Uh, it's been here the first time. time he's freezing seen one. Uh, okay. They've been around. <laughs> I doubt Regis Philbin probably had one, but they, <laughs> they've been they, around yep. for a long time. Rudy drinks uh, out of them. Rudy, Rudy definitely drinks out of them. That's like a point of it in like embarrassment for people that you shouldn't be embarrassed about is things that you don't know because you weren't alive. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, that was, you don't yeah. know about, and you're like, what? I think, I think William's been alive for a lot of stuff. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> with Bates, I mean, he's for all of them. <laughs> Every morning. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going, I'm sorry, William. It's unfair. Not fair. Uh, Lance Wallace, Appliances Part 2, was another thing of beauty. Right. Great episode. Inspired me to suggest a new way of naming your episode. Start with the topic Breakfast has selected and researched, then follow it with the topic or topics the guys spend the most time actually talking about in parentheses. I was, wasn't really en- enthused. About, enthused? <laughs> enthused? Wasn't really enthused. Is that it? There you uh, go. That was, that that was, was, that yeah, was the closest. You nailed it. Enthused. Enthused. It would turn around. Uh, it would turn around. I wasn't really enthused about more appliance talk, but the hidden topic of infomercials was so much fun. Keep spreading joy. All right. I'm not against that. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. So, so, so this episode will be Georgia and mm-hmm. parentheses Regis Philbin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Fe- featuring That's not John bad. Chris. I don't yeah. mind it also being like, here's some other stuff they win. It, you know, mm-hmm. the idea. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's good. You might as well change it up. Who's breakfast uh, or what's breakfast? Because they Brian. they always said his name wrong. Oh. They've done that for a long time. I don't think people want to. Oh, it's just any B word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's any, any B word. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I could see beauty would be a good one for you. Yeah, beauty. But Nate doesn't like to be called Nathaniel, so uh, yeah. I don't mind being Nathaniel. I just said you spelled it. It's I E L. It's because of your joke, right? That's the mm. joke. That's the joke. Yeah, it's, I have nothing. That's wrong That's a callback. It's honestly a sign of respect. It's mm-hmm. a callback to that's a true. joke. Mm-hmm. You know what? William respects. So, you know, John knows Nate's act better than Dusty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dusty doesn't know I do comedy. Uh, Matt Duvall. Duvall. How in the world did Nate not pitch the Aaron Weber walk-in cooler as his appliance to sell? Bigger gentlemen everywhere <laughs> would have wanted to get their hands on that bad boy. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. yeah, you can definitely tell he's yeah. Brian selecting these comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's just going after everybody well, else. Well, that wasn't, yeah, they are. That is true. You're going after him. But I had an idea that they should, because what was it you wanted, uh, like for big men everywhere, for the bigger oh, yeah. gentlemen, you would have a walk-in cooler at your home that you can go cool off in. I said if I had all the money in the world, I could start building stuff like that in my house. I'd build a walk-in yeah, yeah. freezer. Yeah. Yeah. To just walk in there. Because he gets so hot during the yeah. day that he would want to then come <laughs> home and walk in a cooler freezer. <laughs> That's a lot of cool meat. Off. That's a lot of meat in there. That's a lot of well, it is yeah. a lot of meat. That's why they want to go in there. <laughs> it's <laughs> to be that hot. Yeah. What about like a just a shower? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's not the same. But they want to get oh, yeah, wet. Each one's gonna stand there just kind of just kind of a little bit. Yeah. Just kind of like it feels nice. Yeah. yeah. You know, just get the stains off. I like that. Uh, yeah. Just can't see the wet stains. When I worked at the country club, I go, can I go take a smoke break? And they go, yeah. Then I just walk in the walk-in freezer, stand in oh, there yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Loosen Still smoke. Five but minutes. <laughs> so smoke. But he would do it inside the walk-in freezer. It would have put. Would've, it wouldn't go out, would it? What do you mean? In the walk-in you freezer? smoked a cigarette in there? I don't think so. It's no. not a vacuum chamber. It's yeah, just, but yeah. it's too cold. Yeah, you can smoke in Alaska. I don't think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah. it's just too cold. If you were in like a cooler, it wouldn't. Yeah. Isn't yeah. there airtight in there? Uh, it might you'd have be to figure time. that out if you're gonna you'd pitch have to it. figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll do a little more research on this. I think, think there. there's enough air to probably. Oh yeah. To do when I worked at Chick Fil A, we had one. We walk in. But did you think that yeah. a, a cigarette couldn't light if it's too cold? 
You were thinking about like a fire when it, there's snow. No, out? like it would just air gone. Yeah, like in space. Oh, okay. You can't smoke a cigarette in space. Well, that's because there's no oxygen. Yeah. And that's what I thought. <laughs> and yeah. possibly no space. Yeah. But yeah. So there's that's a little double whammy yeah. there. Could you, so, yeah. You know. You could light it up, I guess. Yeah. You could light it up. This next comment's uh, crazy. Brian Bates. In, is, they should smoke in the in your helmet. Oh yeah. The guy just got a cigarette in his helmet just. inside inside yeah. the astronaut helmet yeah yeah you can hot box it mm -hmm. man that guy's hair just smell he takes that off he'd be like Whoa. that's like how does it yeah. how, what is it what can is, you smell in space i don't think so dang how does it get interesting question you can smell in the spacecraft i'm sure but if you were just floating out in space no yeah, no but the helmet? spacecraft doesn't have oxygen. I mean, I guess if you turn the... It does have oxygen. They're breathing I mean, pretty good it, on that. I mean, yeah. it'd be your floating. How, yeah. It, <laughs> no gravity. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe. You, gravity and oxygen No, I'm talking about the different thing. Gravity's Gra what leads to the smell. Gravity mm -hmm. could. The smell wouldn't fall, I guess. Yeah. The <laughs> it'd go to the top. Would, it'd go to the top. Yeah. Dang. You'd see it go up there. It would yep. just sit there. Yeah. Mm, there's no direct way to smell space. However, researchers have identified compounds and elements within the galaxy, men are, which are also on Earth. The smell of our solar system is pungent because it is rich in carbon and low in oxygen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stars have aromas reminiscent of a charcoal grill. I like the smell of a charcoal wow. grill. Oh, yeah. So space, uh, space smells good. But if you were to a spacewalk and would you like somebody farted, would you, you could smell that? I don't know. I don't know if I want to type that in. <laughs> it smells like I don't, it smells I don't, like space. Yeah. Well, what is what is in a cigarette that it stays in like a car? But you can't ever get it out. The smell. What is? <laughs> yeah, but nothing else sticks like that. <laughs> what's in? What's in it that you're like? You can't. You can never steal anything else yeah. in a car besides cigarette smoke. Yeah. Mm, well, cigar it. smoke stays. Yeah. Does it? I think so. I don't, maybe oh, not yeah. as bad as cigarette smoke. If you though. lit a charcoal fire and then cooked a hot dog in a car, would that stay in there? It does stay in there pretty long. Actually, because you can't smoke, you go to a hotel room. You go to you can't smoke yeah. in here because you can do anything. It else. just kills the room. Yeah. Yeah. Optimized portfolio. Man, that's a crazy name. Uh, as a nerd with a degree in math, no, it makes sense. <laughs> it was cool to hear the birthday, the birthday paradox mentioned. Indeed, the paradox works because it's not asking the probability of you sharing a birthday with someone, but rather of any two people in the room sharing a birthday. With 23 randomly selected people, there are 253 possible pairs to consider. Fun fact, the probability reaches 99.9 .9 when you reach 70 people in the room. Wow. Yeah, that's fun. So if there's 70 people in the room, there's yeah. a 99.9% .9 chance that... Somebody, I saw that clip. Same I saw that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's fun stuff. Well, a lot of people said that we were just wrong. And Birthday is you here. Mm. In the clip that was posted, <laughs> okay. I said it when... I said it correctly at first. Yeah. And then I misspoke saying it the second time. Yeah. Saying it had to be it, you. Yeah. It's not about you sharing a birthday. It's about any two people right. in the group sharing a birthday. Some people just didn't even believe the paradox. They're just like, there's just no way you mm -hmm. guys are. But it, it is right. Some guy, I saw a comment. That's not what a paradox is, idiot. I'm like, I didn't <laughs> name it that. <laughs> Got him. Mm, Sorry, Got him. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you ever start out when you start out with comedy as the host? You're like, any birthdays? Yeah. Did and this weekend, still. Yeah. Yeah. And we're still head, doing that, John. He's headlining yeah. in a suit, yeah. my closer. Yeah. in a suit. That's my closer. <laughs> he, he ran quick. <laughs> it's like close. Yeah, there's always. So I got a, a paradox for you guys. Count off. Is it? Well, what's the philosophy behind that? To did get, he, did I tell the story about the someone asking for the birthday? On oh this? yeah. Wait, wait. Have wait. I told it on? I know I probably told it to y'all, but I don't know if I've told it on this. The guy who had the bit about birthdays. Yeah, I love that story though. I I'll tell it. I might have told y'all all. I don't know I'm if I've told it. the uh, audience, so I apologize. Uh, and but there's a the comic. He would go on stage and he would he would say he had a joke where he'd, he would go like, uh, "Who's got a birthday coming up?" Someone would say, "I got a birthday coming up," and 
and then he's like, "This is your, how they would give you your, your birth, taking a birthday in a, a Chinese restaurant." And that, this is just a joke. I'm not. I'm just. But he'd be like, "Happy birthday to Rue." They would say it like the mispronounce it. And then you go, "Happy birthday, dear customer." Or, Happy birthday to Rue. Yeah. Like so, it's it's making fun of a right. way. It's, uh, Elmer Fudd. They would speak. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. basically doing Elmer Fudd. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, there's really no reason for anybody to have a birthday. <laughs> Like, you don't need someone in the room to... You could just say, here is my impression of a Chinese restaurant singing happy birthday. You just do it. You just do it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so he goes up, and he's at the show, and he goes, all right, who's got a birthday coming up? Huh? Who's, there's not a lot of people in the crowd, and no one has a birthday coming up. And he starts pointing. He goes, what about you, man? And he goes, I just had my birthday. It was a month ago. He goes, all right, what about... He goes, nobody has got a birthday. And you're... There's really no reason to be here again. But you just go into the bit. He's already started. Holly's going crazy. And he, he goes, uh, he goes, yeah. So he just keeps going around. I don't what is she doing? The dog's what is maybe she left. downstairs. Yeah. Huh? Maybe somebody must have. Holly. <laughs> All right. Uh, that worked. Yeah. Thank you. Uh she could probably smell it. That didn't work. No, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I go down there. There's a Chinese person at the door. <laughs> You're like, dick. <laughs> this, this whole, <laughs> this whole thing. Uh, we're gonna get canceled just for this. Whole... That was fast. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we're gonna Elmer Fun. Like, go. No, it was Elmer Fun, dude. He goes, what you been doing? You want us to talk for two hours? He goes, I can't. I can't talk. Twice. Twice. <laughs> uh, uh, so he keeps asking and so he's like someone else's birthday who else's birthday and someone goes i don't I go, what about you buddy when's your birthday because my birthday's not six months from now yeah. and i mean nobody <laughs> and finally some guy just ends up like it's like so many like, sure. just yeah they go yeah. uh my brother's birthday's tomorrow he goes all right all right i'll take it i'll, I'll take it. it and then he does i'm the in, I'm in. Yeah. and there's like there's no reason like for you could have just do it just yeah. do it uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, do you so guys you're like hey do you, any guys drive cars like yeah dude. Yeah. yeah 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 just do just do it yeah, yeah. yeah. just do the job yeah uh <laughs> call me girl 9902 Ooh. I have been, has there been that many Carmi girls? I think so. Uh, she's like, I got under 10,000. Uh, I've been re-listening to old episodes. And between that and some of Brian's comments today, it's odd that he's kind of laughed at, some, at about some of his points because he definitely has a broader scope about a lot of things than the, the other what three. What are these comments? These, oh, that's yeah. fake. That's not yeah. true. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I, I couldn't. You were nodding the whole time, so I couldn't. Well, uh, I was agreeing with her. Uh, I know, but I just saw my head like a parrot going off. I that can't distracted even... you from reading? Yeah, I mean, you're nodding. You were nodding big nods, and so then I'm like, I'm like, this is. I, I, it's already so many words, and then I got my peripheral is, you know, uh, like um, seahorse nodding back and forth. I've been re-listening to old episodes, and between that. In some of Brian's comments today, it's odd that he's kind of laughed at, oh, he's kind of laughed at about some of his points because he's definitely, because he definitely has a broader scope about a lot of things than the other three. Thank you. I get the impression that he's been exposed or at least allowed himself to be mentally open mm. to much more than his personal bubble, which is interesting. Considering Nate has lived in more places. You go, girl. Yeah. Is this you right now? <laughs> no. Huh? No. You're that that's you you don't have a bigger scope of well, things. I'm taking up with Carmi Girl. Yeah. You have a bigger scope of what you think stuff is <laughs> because you've read about other things, but you've never experienced like you haven't lived other yeah. But there's there's uh, every every he's week. A, yeah, there's, it's like a, a commenter. He's, there's he's hundreds. The media. He's the media that it's reports biased, on the media. It's biased. That just yeah, does. Yeah. He's fake news. He <laughs> just reports on <laughs> in Bates' world. He like, goes, well, that they're not doing that. You're like, well, have you been there? No, I've not been there, but I, I never, just can't imagine it happening. Uh, like, you said that. Yeah. yeah. So goes, there's that, there's hundreds of comments every hundreds. week. Hundreds. And, and this, I mean, these are the ones. These are selected. That you selected. Yeah. Today, 
Yeah, they're all good comments. Look, the reason I put that one in because read the next one. Okay. J. Kramer, 324. Breakfast's ignorance of the Foreman Grill sheds a lot of light on the waffle fiasco. Okay. Fiasco. So just fiasco. funny, interesting fiasco. contrast yeah. in those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. One is, totally. you don't act like you... <laughs> You're like, don't worry, guys. I got myself good on the next one. Yeah. The brief after six. It makes it look funnier because, I mean, she's saying that, and then I don't even know what a foreman grill is. That's mm-hmm. true. I knew what it was. I just never seen one. But the very, the very, I've never seen a foreman grill. Yeah. And I poured syrup what, really? in a in a waffle maker. Yeah, we did a poll on that. Oh yeah. And what did they say? It was about two thirds thought that was harder to believe than never seen. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, what oh. do you think is more ridiculous? Nate never having seen Shawshank Redemption, the number one rated movie of all time, or Brian never having seen a Foreman Grill? That one for sure. The movie over the Foreman Grill? The Foreman Grill is only like in in like uh, hotels <laughs> if you choose the breakfast. So every time you I ever don't, see one. I, there's uh, a good chance John Chris has too much money to even know what a Foreman <laughs> no, Grill no, is. No, every, dude, it's on do you TV. know what a George it, Foreman Grill is? Yeah, the thing that you put it down, right? You yeah, everybody go. would have them in their house. Forever in the, ni- in the 90s, I don't think they have them. <laughs> the that, 90s I used to be like we got uh, one downstairs. <laughs> I, I, we had those in like in college for we even if that's yeah, but he's saying he didn't, he's never even seen one, he didn't know what they look like. But you never seen one, he had I never, seen never one. had one. You don't, you never seen. I, I mean, I may have seen one, didn't know what it was at someone's house, but I did not know if we would have asked you to draw a picture of I a foreman grill. No, nothing you would not have been able to do it. Mm-mm. No, Mm-mm. that might be true, but. I don't come on here every week and talk about inferior grills that I've seen this past weekend. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> and talk about that. What? I said, I, it may be true, but I don't come in here each week and talk about inferior grills that I've watched this past week. It, so, Is that someone? I did that? Your movie reviews. You say oh. you talk about worse movies than Shawshank Redemption. Oh. Yeah. Which oh, you refuse to see. Yeah. Yeah. John's a big fan. We went to where Shawshank Redemption was filmed. John and wow. oh, yeah, we oh, checked it out. We went awesome. to the prison. Speaking yeah, of cool. things you do during the day. Yeah. When you yeah. go and, and yeah, he, he like found that. it, right? We went there for an yeah. hour and we were like, let's leave. We did. We, we go, the, hey, you want to read the I go, I'll just look around for a little bit. Then? I don't think I need to follow the guy who like tells you where to go. Yeah, I'll just John, you've been to the Spokane Aquarium. How was it? Come call back to the mattress. Uh, these are very. Let's just say, at minimum, these are very Brian centric. Mm-hmm. These well, unusually so this week. Brian, yeah. Heaven uh, forbid yeah, yeah. that I, yeah, no, because totally. I never get made fun of on this. Uh, podcast. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I agree, but I think usually this is just because you do usually do do a great job of. Uh, I don't think a it's, lot of yeah. I think it's that you put the back to back. The oh, passive aggressive, and then we went from there me. with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just stuck out a little. That felt this week. that felt a lot. Nothing I wrong with they it. Were funny. It was funny. It was funny. Well, well yeah, clearly Nate didn't think so. But it was great fodder for yeah uh, Nate's rage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Boom. That's what, got that, something out of it. So keeps this podcast rolling. That's oh, true. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about rocket money? Rising prices stressing you out? You bet. If you're looking for ways to cut costs, you need Rocket Money. You could be wasting money and not even realizing it. I mean, I've got a million subscriptions that I sign up for. I talk about them ad nauseum on the podcast. You got to get rid of them. Rocket Money is a personal (laughs) finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Most people think they're spending $80 on their subscriptions. Get out of town. You're probably spending closer to $200 because that's the average. When you signed up for so many things like streaming services you used to watch for one show or free trials, you can lose track of this stuff. Rocket Money also lets you monitor all your expenses in one place. It recommends custom budgets based on your past spending and sends you notifications when you've reached your spending limits. With over 3 million users and counting, hey, I'm one of them, Rocket Money customers have saved an average of $720 a year. Boom. That's crazy. You're crazy for not using it. Stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash Nate. That's rocketmoney.com slash Nate. One more time for the fellas. Rocketmoney.com slash Nate. There you go. A lot of people did say because Drybar has a free seven day trial. Oh, yeah. And they're like, we're going to use Rocket Money. <laughs> well, that, oh, that okay. I guess they need, but oh, yeah. if you do sign up for it to watch your special, yeah, yeah and then immediately funny. cancel. That's fine. You know, there's yeah, a uh, that's a good way to get back on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't, Sign up for my yeah. special, cancel it, <laughs> yeah, just do rocket it. money, it. get out of it. 
<laughs> you know, there's a Christian. Uh, there's like a Christian Netflix. What's yeah. it called? Pure Flix. Yeah, Pure yeah. Flix, and it's all Christian movies. Yeah, that's it. I've or they that. edit out. They will drive. Well, oh, drive got, our Angel Studios got in trouble got, for that. Yeah, because that's yeah, like remember they got that. Sued. Oh yeah, that's Vid Angel. Though. Yeah, Vid Angel. Name. Yeah, and then they because yeah, that's somebody's art. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't. You cut out all the bad. The swear yeah, special on there. <laughs> Pure flex. Nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> no, there was a. Uh, there. Uh, th- yeah, they can't. They took out all the like cuss words. And stuff. Like when yeah. ESPN would take some of my, some of my uh, sketches uh-huh. that would like that football coach. They would yeah. edit out certain. Like they said, hey, can you give us permission to post this? And I was like, ESPN, of course. Yeah, but yeah. then they cut out my jokes the funniest ones that they didn't think they were a little uh across the line for them oh wow and you're like dang it if you want to just take it and cut it that's fine but mm-hmm. don't this is like the art that's those are the funniest jokes yeah those are the best ones yeah yeah dang. that's what i think about art when i see that yeah that <laughs> yeah. my <laughs> <laughs> it goes me and all the artists yeah, go, yeah. we got a clip from a funny artist yeah. john christ yeah. <laughs> Go to him right now. It's a football coach. Yeah, it's kind of filming, the same. Yeah. Uh, you think you filmed this at a Good Pasture game, <laughs> local high school <laughs> football game? Knock on Good Pasture. Yeah. What game was it that you filmed it at? Dude, we filmed that at a, um, it was a, a band, like all the high school bands. You were probably out with us. No, oh, I wasn't there. Yeah, you were. That. No, you didn't not mm. when they, oh, you weren't. Maybe mm-hmm. you weren't. We mm-hmm. went out to the, it was after a show and I just said, dude, I got this funny idea for like a football coach. Like, I saw that video before I knew who you were. Oh yeah, saying. maybe it was before mm-hmm. that. Yeah. We went to this you football way stadium. Off about <laughs> yeah, way off. All that. Yeah. <laughs> they go, wait, well, you were out with me. I wasn't. You know? That was like that's, 2000... that's how I find you, found you. Right? 2017. <laughs> You've been doing it for a long time. 17? Yeah. 2000, yeah. 2017 is when I made that video. No, 2018 probably. And you didn't know who he was in 2018? Mm-mm. It's worse than a George Foreman grill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, probably late 2018. I first saw him first with weirder uh, that you remember that it was late 2018. John uh, <laughs> John Witherspoon. Yeah, and you did Citrus. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, John. that's the funniest thing I've ever seen yeah. in my life. And I was Thank like, come you. out on my tour and do that. And he never did it once yeah. ever again. Citrus, a joke. Yeah, yeah. Citrus. He, you don't like to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, it's a voice that I did. Oh, you do it. You did a voice on stage. Oh, you, wait, you didn't know this. And not only did I do a Asian voice, voice, it was the cornerstone of my act for oh, many. Oh yeah, that was your. I was. I was like, this guy. Many years. Is what was hilarious. Citrus? Yeah, well, well, I never. Well, hold on, you don't know about this thing. I never no. describe him physically. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you just can tell what he is. You know, <laughs> he's not going to do it. Are you going to do like, it? I don't, I haven't he done the voice. Sorry, dude. My bad. My bad. I didn't mean to bring that up. I didn't mean to bring that up. You're good. Yeah, but that I saw. I was in the back of. Zanies and I was like, yeah. I don't know who that dude is, but yeah. that is the funniest thing yeah. I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah. And I go, Lucy, who I don't think y'all even knew each other, or did you? They were married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were, we're off on the time yeah. timelines. We're right. way yeah. off on the timelines. But I go, that's who is that guy? That's the funniest thing I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. And then we start coming out with me. Thanks, man. Yeah. How about yeah, it? What, what, were, what were you? Uh, that was your closer? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. In my Gosh, opener. In my dude, well, I was closing on a bit on the, a Lion King bit. So. <laughs> I can't judge. Mm. Yeah. More recent. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Early 2023. A couple days ago. <laughs> Didn't you have your first closer for like five years? Uh, I don't know. It was exact five years. It, it would be you'd have your one first big closer. Joke. Like you your had, big joke. joke. Yeah. You'd have a big At joke. At the beginning of yeah, your yeah, career. Yeah. yeah, you yeah, kept, yeah. You, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, kept you shouldn't get rid of it. it. You should just keep that closer for. No, no, no. Because nobody knows it. No one knows it. Mine was a trampoline, the trampoline bit. You remember that bit? No. What's the yeah. trampoline? No, nah, we're not going to do it. Okay. But yeah, was, okay. yeah. Yeah. Jumping up and down. Yeah. <laughs> What's the deal with trampolines in the backyard? <laughs> you when those rich kids put yeah. it in the ground. I don't know. Just tell me if I no. stumble upon it. Yeah, you got uh, it. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I got the gist of it. <laughs> kids these days, probably kids some of that. Yeah. When I was growing up, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah every I do remember that joke. You were like yeah. 28 when you were telling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kids today, kids these days. Yeah, they don't go outside and play. Yeah, did everyone? Ha- did everyone? Every comedian has had a kids these days. Uh, no, I, I, Our, there's a good chance I have a. Yeah, I have a whole thing right now. When I was like, growing up, I, I, but I'm trying. It, the idea of it is is. Uh, it's not really. I'm not in my head. I'm not doing a kids these days. But yeah, that. But the way it, I, it's like a. I don't it know. is kind. It's of. a. It's but I'm mentioning some old stuff and then like it's just the times are just just crazy. But well, like, I, but yeah, but everybody has like. A, I think I learned from you because at the exact same time 
that I had a kids. What's the deal with these kids with peanut allergies? You had a. It's not their fault that they have peanut allergies. Mm-hmm. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, and now like I've heard like some podcasts are like, do whatever is like in the in the environment that we didn't have. Like we have it. So right. It's like a. It's like an old. It's like an out of time. It's like a expired bit. Mm-hmm. Kids these days, like when I was going down slides, there were metal in the monkey bars and you could pass out or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember yeah. the merry-go-round? You just yeah. go on every playground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't have them anymore. Yeah. Remember the monkey bars? Swing sets were yeah. crazy. <laughs> we used to have swing sets, too. Yeah. That was the bit. Uh, this week, we're talking about Georgia. Georgia. John, you know anything about Georgia? Uh, yeah, tons. Wait, are we? this is not the end of the episode? No, it's a new, new new episode. We're just getting started. No, no. this was the topic. We just have gone on. We, it's been good. Oh, yeah. So this was the topic. So we're going to touch oh. on Georgia a little bit. Oh, here we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you were on here a little bit over two years ago, really? This was the topic, Dang. and we never got to it. So I dusted oh, yeah. it off. And you were like, a, you're like, and yeah, I hope we like, were on an apology tour. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, had to, we had to get that out of the way. We didn't get to Georgia. <laughs> we had to cover that. Sorry, we didn't get to, we had to Georgia. Cover that first. Georgia yeah. asked us not to be yeah. dragged down, but they think, did yeah. you cut the Georgia stuff? Their PR was like, yeah. not yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was the first time I ever did a podcast. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, yeah. did you guys get in any any trouble for that? Uh, no, I don't. No, no, no one said yeah, anything. No. We got no. some comments, but yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> he he reviewed he's them. got them. He'll put them in. <laughs> yeah. like I'm surprised there wasn't one today. <laughs> John <laughs> Chris, part six. Yeah, I said, I think I told somebody, I go, it's cool that comics can like comics can build other comics. Other, comics have been made popular by other comics. Mm-hmm. Like Rogan or like you yeah. have the power and I have the power in my pocket to bring people on. They're like, this guy, you don't have to wait for TV or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot more control. When, now. when, yeah. When some people come back, you're like the, the media may or may not, but the podcast, you're like, yeah, come on the pot. Mm-hmm. It's wild. Dude. Do it yourself. Yeah. yeah. Different time. Man. Here we are. I had all those, all those premises about Georgia and I've been sitting on them for two years. Waiting. When am I going to get the opportunity get to defend the it. state of Georgia? <laughs> well, Georgia. It was one of the 13 original colonies. I knew that. that. The yeah. last one. Oh, barely got in. For a yeah. while. like It was 50 years after the first 12. Yeah. Oh, really? Then it went 13? Who was 14? There was no 14. It was the last one. <laughs> but they wouldn't. They just go, that's enough? Well, then the Revolutionary War happened, and then they became states. Yeah. yeah. Named after Prince George II, I think, right? Uh, I think he was a king by then. King George, not Prince George. Oh, yeah. Prince George is like now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's like my middle name is Barack, and I'm 39, and I'm like, how would I be named after? Do people think you're named after him? Yeah, I'm like, timeline wise. Now, Grant, we haven't had our times, yeah, you know, totally in check. Right, this right. Week, but I go, how would I be named? Is after that a Barack? biblical name? Yeah, Barack. Old Testament. Yeah. How many years you've been 39? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <dude>. nice. <laughs> Keeps editing his Wikipedia image. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, cut to two years ago. You say it on the podcast. Same bit. Yes, you know, that's you what Lucy says thing. all the time. Yeah. He's like, How old? Yeah. You've been 39 for a yeah, long yeah. time. That's when, no, it's, uh, no, I think you are 39. Uh, aren't you 39? Mm-hmm. You're 39? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> King George II, CEO. There you go. But then you forget, you, you can tell when a bit gets old by yeah. sometimes how you say it and then you're like, Dang. My daughter's two years old. She's seven. You're yeah. like, God, I gotta quit doing this joke. Oh, it's yeah. old. You know? Yeah. Or like something about I saw somebody do a bit about like my son was wearing these these jeans that were that the so wide you could hide all kind of stuff in there. Mm. I go, Oh, yeah, that's an old that has to be old. Oh yeah. These kids with their baggy pants. Yeah, 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 something like, like that. Yeah, that's, they're not really doing that. I heard one yeah. about with that. Byron Allen. Uh, <laughs> still- actually, he had a joke uh where he had a joke about the you, use a, you ever use a payphone? Yeah. And you put a dime in there. And so wow, the joke is so dude, old yeah. that it's like, it's been, I remember payphone. I think I've talked about that. I remember payphones being 35 cents. All right. And yeah, then, yeah. then they were dimes. So it's like, it's, it's a, no one's using payphone. And then you're two prices off. That's what crazy. The, mm-hmm. Yeah. The, he hasn't adjusted it for inflation. Yet. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't say he does the joke now, but it, yeah. it, but you end up just saying like that stuff can, can, I mean, he's yeah. been busy buying the Weather Channel, so yeah. it's like, you're like oh, you, you go do, do some bits. old joke, yeah. and then you're like, yeah, we're not. I mean, no one even really knows what a payphone. 
or like getting a, yeah, you're exactly. like, dude, after like I had, I'd go outside and get a taxi or like, yeah, what? No, yeah. You ever go yeah. get a cab? I mean, yeah. that's, you know, and it's, but at least you could still do that. Yeah. In mm-hmm. some, yeah, I guess on Broadway mm-hmm. or, but yeah, you would change it to an Uber. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, I've been doing this bit for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you guys think is the most famous person from Georgia? Ludacris. <laughs> you had that one ready to go. Man. Yeah. The rapper? It's like you. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, the rapper? Martin Luther King? Oh. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. He, I, I never knew where he was from. <laughs> no one does. Yeah. This is like the Rudy. Uh, this is like the Rudy yeah. thing. Martin Luther King or Ludacris. Yeah. Ludacris. Regis is our Martin Luther King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the title of the episode. I think yeah. I might have very old. I might have said Herschel Walker, and Herschel he's even Walker. from Georgia. Uh, I mean, Herschel Walker oh, played, played at Georgia. He played Georgia. Yeah, I think he grew up in Georgia. Most he was possibly, born yeah. in Georgia. Yeah, yeah, Wrightsville. Yeah, that's a very Augusta. old one, though. I don't know why. Um, There's in my head. That's that's the name that popped up. In well, my he head. made headlines with Georgia recently. So yeah, that's yeah. not crazy. We got we got um, Jeff Foxworthy, Bill Hicks. Keenan Thompson, me. It's a weird list. <laughs> no, it's, comics. It's the weirdest no, lineup comics. of all no, time. No, comics. Dude. The greatest comics from yeah. Georgia. How would you structure that show? Yeah. Mm, let's uh, see. Keenan Thompson, where, guest spot. Where is... No, Keenan Thompson's hosting. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks. Yeah, you know. He's probably got to close. Because it's going to be... Versus Foxworthy? Foxworthy did? I just think Foxworthy doesn't want to follow. I would bet Jeff would be like, you close. Is it now? Are you doing all? Well, Hicks is dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all right. No, but I mean, if you look at the primes of their acts, yeah, just Bill what Hicks. they talk about. Yeah, right. I think Foxworthy. I I I feel that's what I would be like. Let me go before, mm-hmm. just yeah. because I'm not going to be. Hmm. You're going to. You're you're gonna get them all riled up and like all Hicks. this kind of stuff. It's yeah. like just a different kind of so it's vibe. Everybody, it's everybody, everybody else's prime? vibe. You you and Foxworthy and Keenan. Everybody's vibe is kind of the same yeah. of fun. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then you need Hicks to come in and then be like, he's got to close. Yeah. What yeah. about you? You put Bill Hicks up, then you throw John up after him, and then as like and not as much buffer, time. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. You yeah. could do that. Like I'm a guest spot. Yeah, yeah. I'm the guest it, spot. Yeah. But it's everybody. It's everybody in their prime. Yeah, I mean, you might be Keenan. If I'm Foxworthy, you might be like, I want to go first, like go, go Keenan Foxworthy, yeah. then John. Yeah, and yeah. then Bill Hicks. Hicks. I can lie to you, it's a pretty good show. Yeah, I wonder who that. Yeah, I mean, because everybody's like, I'm from. Like they don't claim that. Yeah, they I thought came Bill up, Hicks was from Texas. They don't come up in that state. Like I came up in Denver. I would be like, where would you start comedy? I'll say Denver. Mm-hmm. I'm from. I started comedy in Atlanta, Georgia, the Laughing Skull Lounge. But I don't. I'm not part of that graduating class or whatever you call it i mean how long is the laugh when did you start 2009 june 23rd Golly. Yeah. i remember the laughing school being mm-hmm. put in the new little place yeah, yeah. I feel like it just opened everybody does everybody does one or two things you either invite everybody or you invite nobody your first time ever doing stand-up which did you guys I think do? you invited everybody nobody really no oh, wow. I, thought, I thought you had yeah. your whole family nah, yeah dude i didn't tell them for three months yeah. i didn't wow. tell anybody for three months uh you I, been invited, I was in Chicago. Because so. what? You had been punished? Yeah. Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it was like For a weird thing. Like, you're doing what? Like, they, they, they had no concept of what that would, why, what, why would you do that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hard to explain. Mm. Well, some other famous people, not as quite as famous as those. All right. So, what am I? I thought I was doing the stats. Rolling Stones. You're is- doing it. I'm just defending it or just saying well, if it's I mean, true. I want to hear your opinions. Talking about it. Yeah. yeah okay, I just want to yeah. hear your opinions. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. I don't know. He came in this. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because of the tone. He, he said with his. Yeah. He set off with the yeah. comments that he thinks you're attacking. Him. Yeah. Whoa. No, you're right. Bill Hicks died at 32. He was so young. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's my age. How do you know about Bill Hicks? Or, um, huh? Just from seeing it? I'm a hundred years old. I mean, I've no. <laughs> We're the same age, huh? We're the same age. I'm 44. Yeah, it's I'm five years. But I remember, but I remember when you start. Like you're saying, you started at a place that I remember them opening. Oh the yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Uh, when I came up, all anybody talked about was Bill Hicks. Yeah. Everybody, that was everybody's like, who's your favorite comic? They would say Bill Hicks. At the Laughing Skull, they have the Bill Hicks rules oh, yep. for comedy. Yep, back yep, in yep. the green. Room. Great point. Mm. That's pro- that makes sense now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Anyway, number 13 on the Rolling Stones list of top comics of all time. Really? Yeah. Bill Hicks. As of 2017. 
Hmm. Anyway, so Georgia. Well, some other famous people, uh, Jimmy Carter. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess he's got a win, right? But, mm. Well, he's one of them. Over uh, T.I.? <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's listening, I just want them to know John couldn't be more serious yeah. about all his answers. Ludacris yeah. and Ludacris T.I. And T.I. Do you know who Keenan Thompson is? <laughs> Do you know who Jimmy Carter is? Yeah. Keenan Thompson. <laughs> Yeah, it's a president. Yeah, yeah habitat yeah. for just for man. where we where, how we grew up that you would say, yeah, you wouldn't. You well, this is all time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Young Jeezy's not in there. Yeah, <laughs> Young Jeezy. Yeah, this is the, that's the, a current person. We started that. We we <laughs> current invented person. hip hop is everything. At, well, that's not the state of Georgia. I guess that's Atlanta. Yeah, but Atlanta is also sixty percent of the population of Georgia. Atlanta is yeah. six. Okay. So it's like there's like six seven million in Atlanta, and there's probably like twelve in the whole. State. Yeah. What's the demographics on the? <laughs> well, yeah, is he from? He was born in South Carolina, but he relocated to Atlanta. Oh yes, I guess you can't credit Who? him. Young Jeezy. Young Jeezy. When he's a toddler. I feel like you're a toddler Who's and he moves somewhere. Jeezy? You can you can take it. Yeah. All right. A Con and Young Jeezy. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Kanye. Wow. Mm. Oh yeah, Kanye West. Oh, we yeah. don't claim him because he's not part of the like outcast. Uh, he's like part he was of the outcast. Chicago. Would be outcast a good is one. Atlanta. Outcast yeah, I should have said. I should have started yeah. with outcast. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. If Kanye is, I mean, Kanye could be. He's born in Atlanta. Atlanta. I mean, there's wow. your. That might be. He might be the number one. He spoke at a Christian youth conference. Oh, dude! When he was yeah. three, he moved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who he replaced, but uh... oh, that's so funny! <laughs> I forgot about that. It's so funny. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> when Kanye West is the guy you go to for yeah, some morality, yeah. who was the guy before? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say they're both from Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Richard Jewell is yeah. the third guy. Yeah. Heck of a lineup, dude. Richard yeah. Jewell would be another yeah. one that could be up there. Yeah. I would say Kanye's got to be your number one. Yeah. But Not he's like, you know, like the, like you, you, you're like, you're New York, right? With your career, you're a New York comic. Yeah. Yeah, you're not a Nashville comic. I don't think yeah. Kanye counts for Georgia. He moved to Chicago yeah, he when we, he we was don't, three. Okay. We don't claim That's him. That's fair. We don't claim him. And oh, and he probably claims Chicago. Yeah. He talks about yeah. Chicago. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's true. Ray yeah. Charles talks about other stuff too. I can Ray see Charles. that. I can see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, some more here. Uh, Lauren Elena. Wait. <laughs> um, she's from Georgia. If y'all aren't familiar with Lauren Elena, she's a country <laughs> singer. She lives in Nashville now. <laughs> um, let's see what else I got about her here. Bates, <laughs> Bates is unhinged yeah. today, dude. He's, Bates unleashed. He's been boggled up, man. We haven't let him do a podcast for a little bit. It's we the been, tea. I'm on the tea now. We haven't let him now. steer the ship in quite yeah. some time. Wow. He's been... I like how he sat on that for two hours. Oh. Dude. He sat on that for two years yeah. since last time you were here. Yeah, yeah I did this in June of 2021. Yeah, he's been ready. <laughs> he said both of those. He just came Kanye in. West. I know. He's, he came in hot today. I respect that, dude. He's as uh, oh, the kids man, say I'm he's crying, being, dude. Uh, he's sassy. Yeah, he's yeah. out of pocket. He's, yeah. yeah. But that's good to know. I didn't know that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um,. <laughs> You guys got a lot of good songs. You got George on my mind. Yeah. Or is this going? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. This isn't a setup. Yeah, this yeah. is a real. This is a real. And what? Yeah. Uh, Midnight Train to Georgia. Mm -hmm. The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Why Georgia by John Mayer. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know that one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It came out in the last 30 years. So. <laughs> yeah. That's why. <laughs> it's classic. John Mayer yeah. from Georgia. Is it, as, is it as famous as the three I just threw out? Uh, No. No. All right. To be fair. To me, it is. But... Georgia, the broader That's, public. Uh, yeah, do you know Georgia was a penal colony? I did I not did. know that because land because uh, I just went to Australia. And they were oh there. yeah, Georgia was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how you got started. It was guys that well, or girls, I guess they couldn't pay their debt, and so they sent them there. Mm -hmm. That was the plan to send them there because, like you know, nonviolent crimes sent them yeah. to Georgia, but also South Carolina was like their top colony, and I just learned this. And Florida was on was ran by the spanish so they're like let's put a buffer to protect south carolina so oh, like, yeah. <laughs> we'll georgia. do georgia oh yeah i did not know that yeah i knew about the fire we had that yeah you had a big fire atlanta yeah, yeah it burned down the, the whole civil thing. war yeah yeah, yeah i was talking about that thing. the march to the sea oh yeah 
Yeah, so General Sherman went from Atlanta to Savannah in, during the Civil War. Yeah. Burned Atlanta Burned to the, the ground. ground. Oh, yeah. We will rebuild. That's before me, too. <laughs> Y'all still say that? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got a lot. We have a checkered. We, uh, we, we have a checkered. Past. That's a good yeah. way to put it. Is that what y'all George say? George has a checkered the, past. We will rebuild. Yeah. yeah. Y'all say that at the Falcons game? Yeah. We, <laughs> no, we're 2 0. We're undefeated. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Reloading. Are you a University of Georgia fan? Nah, Georgia Tech. We hate Georgia. You're really? just like, yeah, I'm a Vandy oh. fan. That makes yeah. so much I can't even yeah. make fun of you because I'm, You're like, that's I, like, I've I'm ne- a Vandy fan. I've like, never related to John I Moore. Know what? Yeah. We yeah. actually, so when I was growing up, like Georgia Tech, we had split national championship with Colorado actually in 1990. We wow. were Georgia Tech was like, and Georgia was horrible. Mm-hmm. And we were like, and all growing up, Georgia Tech was like, it wasn't like, and then I was like, you know, you get older and you're like, I should stop with these like rivalries. Like my buddies that like love Georgia. And I'm like, mm-hmm. listen, I'm not as like, do we have a top five recruiting class? Like mm-hmm. calling in the radio stations. Like, what are you doing? Right. You're a grown man. Right. Yeah. But then Georgia, when they were undefeated last year, beat Georgia Tech. Their fan base was so insufferable. There was like, I reignited my hate <laughs> yeah, for the yeah. University of Georgia. And I'm grown. I hate, I wish no success on anyone from the University of Georgia. <laughs> no, I'm none. I don't. Well, they're having some. Yeah, yeah they yeah, are having yeah, some. Yeah. Well. I don't like it. I just don't like, I don't. They, you know, they like, look very beatable this yeah. year, though. But you yeah. think you would just graduate you know, out of that? Yeah, Josh, yeah. Josh Brooks, the athletic director. Yeah, a big fan of the podcast. Is he um, really? Oh Oops. yeah, I went to the Georgia yeah. game with him. Oh, oh, when they the won national BTC, championship. National oh, championship. Wow. I went to it. To, I went to it when they played Alabama. I went in they Indianapolis. Destroyed TCU. So he's yeah. a fan of this, but. Oh. But if they win, <laughs> no school's ever three peated, right? In the modern era. Oh, have they not? I don't think so. And I gotta win. No, no chance, dude. What's the modern era? Well, I guess that's debatable. Yeah. But when at they least, move the goalposts. It, well, I was going to say at least during the BCS and right. national championship. Yeah, no, era, it's like nobody's ever done it. Eight yeah. years ago. <laughs> well, the national championship is BCS has been since four years. Twenty five, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we'll beat them on Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving weekend every year. Georgia, Georgia Tech. So Georgia Tech's your college my team. team. Yeah, all I my brothers. I didn't, I didn't get that. accepted. I didn't know that. I didn't get accepted. All my brothers went there though. It's a really good school. Yeah. But it's like everybody's like a nerd there or whatever, and it's like all yeah. the jokes are like, why, "You're going to be working for us," you know, the same way. That's why they rejected Vanderbilt. you. Yeah, yeah. So well, this no, guy, I was like, "This yeah, guy's high, too cool." High academic standards. This guy's elite. <laughs> dude. This guy's too cool. Yeah. Um, we talked about what's before Operation Big Buzz. This is in Savannah where they dropped mosquitoes on oh, the yeah. city. You know this? Mm-hmm. And and Bill Gates is doing that now, and everybody's critiquing him. Oh yeah, he. Where is he doing it now? He's dropping mosquitoes on. Uh, it's in like Africa or something like that. Not in Africa. Yeah, I know about the yeah in Savannah. They st- they're all still there. By the way, if you ever go down there, it's brutal. What oh the mosquitoes? There it is, right there. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to find. Oh, well, maybe a, it's not true. I'm trying uh, they, to find a site they, that's not E-bombs World. Uh, <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you know what the Georgia Guidestones are? Uh, no. It's these uh, these two pillars that were put up, and it's like they call it the Georgia Stonehenge. They were like, oh yeah, what city? Uh, Doesn't say. No, I mean I just don't know. Could you... The Georgia Guidestones. Yeah, yeah. This is I never seen that before. This is a part of the podcast we'd love to have Dusty here for. Yeah, um, is a granite monument. It is. It says was. Oh, connected. To yeah, they, they, somebody blew it up. Really? You knew about this? I didn't know about I, it. I didn't know about it being blown but up. You knew what it was? Yeah, I had heard of this before. It's Elbert County or Elbear. County, Georgia, <laughs> from 1980 to 2022, 19 feet tall. How are you? It weighed 237,000 pounds. How are you talking about granite monuments and you're not bringing up Stone Mountain? Well, I was going to get mm. there. Oh, that's that's <laughs> our thing. All right, Stone <laughs> Mountain. Let's talk about yeah. that. No, that's like our, <laughs> I've been yeah. to Stone Mountain. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Mm, it's light it's show at Stone Mountain. Oh, yeah. That's can't. It, it, Stone Mountain's open... canceled, though, by the way. Is it? Yeah, it's canceled. Oh. It was a Confederate general's. Oh yeah. So what do they do? What do they do? They still do the light show and stuff? No, nothing. Nobody goes there because it's like problematic to even be seen there. Why don't they just call it a different mountain? Well, they have the Confederate generals on the mountain now, and it's like the no. nose of the Confederate general is like the size of a school bus. It's like, oh. and it took like a hundred years. Like you're not, well, you're not, mo- you're not getting yeah. rid of that. There's some arguments. That the, they re- they opened it a hundred years to the day of Abraham Lincoln's assassination. <laughs> 
Stone Mountain. Yeah. No, I, well, I'm not. Uh, pro, I don't think I'm. Yeah. I don't think I'm no. on the side. Yeah. Anything. And then yeah. They, those those <laughs> yeah. were carved. What what year do you think those were carved? In the I don't mountain? know. In the oh, it was got. I know. Uh, I know. It's very problematic. Yeah. The history of it. Oh. The Late, 70s. Later than it should have been. It was the yeah, 70s. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was cut, it was shut down, and they re like somebody was like, "We're giving the money to finish it." And like, they polished it. Up yeah. After the Remember the Titans season, <laughs> I think the timing of that was right. You said the 1970s. Yeah. Yeah. Time, yeah. Timeline wise, <laughs> yeah. But that used to be like, uh, yeah, I performed it. I was in Tulsa this weekend at the Brady Theater, but it was it's now the Tulsa Theater because Brady, whoever was named after, was like a leader of the KKK. Mm. So they were like, we probably got to just, we got to switch that name up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would have thought Wayne Brady. It should have been. <laughs> I yeah. thought Tom Brady. Wayne Brady. Wayne, hey, if you told me Wayne Brady, Brady, is he from Tulsa? Uh, no, he's from Atlanta. Oh. Wayne Brady, he's, oh, he's also on our list. Y'all got everybody. Oh, we got everybody. Let's go. <laughs> is he? Uh, Brady, Columbus, Georgia. Oh, let's go. Where he's born. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, he's hosting. Wayne Brady's hosting. Well, we've, yeah, we've just added him, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be a long show. Yeah. Late oh, at. Oh, yeah. So, Bruce Bruce is going to pop yeah. in at some yeah. point, dude. This show's going to be six hours <laughs> late yeah. at, dude. I'm getting behind <laughs> on these ads. So, Nate, tell us about BetterHelp. BetterHelp? Uh, I need some now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude. Yeah, I do. Do you ever find that uh, when you're trying to fall asleep, your brain suddenly will not stop talking? I have that all the time. Thoughts start racing before bed. Uh, you need to get them out. Therapy gives you a place to put them out, to say something so someone can hear it. Uh, all the negative thoughts, everybody, you know, everybody's going to have ne- negative thoughts that just pop in. You don't want them in, but they're just there. And uh, therapy is a giant thing for that. that You can, uh, I don't know, just not feel insane and feel alone. Uh, if things start in therapy, give better help a try. They offer uh, the world's largest network of licensed, accredited, and experienced therapist who can help you with a range of issues including depression anxiety relationships trauma grief and more you can text chat phone or video just fill out a quick questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist uh get a break from your thoughts uh, uh get a break from your thoughts with better help visit betterhelp.com slash nate today to get 10 percent off your first month that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Nate. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. The uh, largest aquarium in the world. It's oh, the yeah. Georgia Aquarium. Yeah, we got it. That's I've never been. Checkered past also. What is it? No, nah, not oh. really. But no, <laughs> I go. The fish? No, hey, wait, fish can't got canceled. Anything. We have the yeah. white, the, we have the uh, beluga whales, which are pretty cool. But they should. Okay. We, isn't that like a hack thing for a city? What? To have an aquarium? Like, I don't know. We'll just get an aquarium. No. But yours but is like the largest in the world. Yours yeah. is like one that's actually talked about. The big know. one. Yeah. yeah. It's not the, you know. It is pretty sweet, though, actually. Yeah. You know, but you can ride that. Somebody, city. you know how they do, like, uh, like if you went to, when you start becoming, like, popular, you get, like, hey, we'll take you to a, like, they were like, we're going to put you in with the sharks. Like, you can swim <laughs> with them. Mm-hmm. Like, you can ride. You did? No, they're not not ride them. You can't ride them, but they're like you can go through like a train and like get in. And I was yeah. like, I think I'm good. Yeah, I would be yeah, good I, on that. I don't mess around with water. I would. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to get in with those sharks. Yeah, you would well, they're like that? they're yeah. like whale sharks. Oh, so they get their their mouth is not big enough to eat. Like I don't care. I think it's their mouth is. To, they don't. I think maybe they just don't. Yeah, yeah, I would get in there. I would like. Yeah, I think it'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. To get in there, but like yeah. the people are down below, like, and you can get in there and, and like they watch you. Mm-hmm. You don't get a ride though. No, I don't think you get to ride. <laughs> but that's when we were on when we were in. Uh, <laughs> that's what you, <laughs> no, did I you said, ask him that. I think, yeah. Yeah, you swim with them or he something. He goes, like I that. might yeah. do it. Yeah. You get to ride it? No, yeah. I don't, uh, don't, don't want to get wet. Boring. Uh, I don't want to ride them. Yeah. Not no, when you, were in, when you were in like in Africa on a, a safari, I'll give you a quiz. Do you know what three animals out there eat meat? Lions. Lion. Uh. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think about emus. Yeah. No. <laughs> no ostriches. No. Uh, uh, lions. Hyenas. Kangaroos. I got two. In Africa. In yeah. Africa. <laughs> I got two. Hyenas, lions, huh. and uh, uh, the uh, human beings that are out there. Buzzards. The no. people. The people Birds. eat other people. Buzzards. Oh. Uh, cheetah. Cheetah. Oh. Yeah. So you're cheetah. like, if you're like an elephant and a giraffe, they're like, well, they they don't. You could be. They don't. 
Mm-hmm. Eat or and like what elf it could mess. We were up. out there in open air. Yeah, hippo is one of the dangerous, most dangerous animals. Yeah, yeah, but they don't eat humans. Yeah, but they could. Yeah, they are very and like the. Uh, um, yeah, it's almost the fact that they don't do it makes it scarier. The elephants like, the same. They don't. They would they, kill you out of joy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do it for the love of the game. They don't do it for sustenance. in defense, not to eat. Yeah, but that's crazy. That you really think only three animals eat meat. Meat. Yeah, because yeah. they be like the cheetahs have to. They kill a, a gazelle and they drag it up into a tree to eat it up there so that okay. yeah it's unbelievable ruthless <laughs> you but see we what were, happened yeah yeah oh. we were out there in an open air jeep and it was like this is terrifying <laughs> yeah. and they were like no they think the jeep is an animal and they also have never been in conflict with it the jeep has never so they're like now if you step out of the jeep it's over for you but we don't have yeah. a we don't have a machete or a gun or How nothing. Close are you to right there, yeah. the guy didn't have right, a gun? no nothing, nothing. Because he's like, we live in harmony, and then they, the jeep has never attacked them, and they've never like. I was like, and they. I would have a gun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we were out there open. Gun. I was like, dude, no, nah, we just pulled right. I mean, within wow. four feet of lions, just that would be intense. going You'd to town. Be like, just someone just say, just say, I have a gun. Right, right. just lie to me yeah. and tell me you got a gun. So yeah. They're like, nah, they'll never do anything to you. Yeah. Just eat all As in, you watch it. Just inside John's, of a zebra. John's just like, making a video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. steps out. Yeah. It's just People on safaris be like, Christian mingle. <laughs> no, nah, also they don't hunt during the they don't they don't hunt during the day. Yeah. So you're not worried. Mm. Unless there's like an extreme like famine or there, there was like a wildebeest were everywhere so they were like in the hierarchy of like they would never do that according to them again but isn't that same in the ocean with a shark it wouldn't eat you i'd, I'd be the one it happened to. <laughs> they, can. Be so they can so they can yeah yeah be so embarrassing if they've never eaten anybody and then i'm yeah. the one that gets eaten <laughs> big boy got it yeah. you guys now they they we, swallow them whole yeah they did <laughs> You go look. You see him swimming. You're like, you can see him. See him. right there. Maybe they see a snake. It's gonna see Aaron. See Aaron's impression. Aaron's impression. Like Han Solo in the in a great white belly. Yeah, and there he is. Yeah. There was a guy that, that dressed himself up in a metal a metal outfit and then got swallowed by an anaconda just to see what it was like and go inside of it. Somebody <clears> did that. Mm-hmm. I oh. think I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. A magician. Or, yeah, it was something. He, and then he was gonna like cut himself out David. of it or something like that. Paul Rosalie, <laughs> 27-year-old, filmed, filmed himself getting swallowed by a 20-foot-long anaconda in the rainforest for a Disney Discovery <laughs> Channel special called Eaten Alive. That's crazy, dude. He wore a snake-proof suit. Oh, wait, and he failed to survive. Yeah. Does that mean he died? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, sorry. This yeah. took a dark turn. I thought, Did oh, my die? bad. Failed to survive. You got to say that different. <laughs> He failed yeah. to survive. They're trying to be nice. Yeah. That does seem like a weird the way to say it. The stunt itself was called off due to safety concerns. Oh. He did not swallow, but the title. And it was criti- widely criticized for false advertising. Uh, okay. We learned right okay. now. Okay. So he that it so, happened and it didn't happen. Yeah, why did that other thing say failed to survive? He's going to get, yes. you know, maybe it's two different Maybe guys. it's saying the show failed yeah. to survive. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He's click, gonna, go backwards. He's going to get in a metal suit. Like a, mm-hmm. He's going to get in a metal suit. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Can you click on that? Like, yeah. why does that? The incident was a shocking act, and he failed su- to survive. Yeah. It allows himself to be swallowed. Uh, Man, it allows yeah. himself to be swallowed. I mean, talk about. I mean, that's t- yeah. It's like it's huge. Uh, so he's like, I'm gonna li- yeah, yeah. There he is, this metal yeah. outfit. Oh, that's crazy. I can't find the word "survive" is not even in this article. Wow. Well. Hmm. All right. Anyway. Uh, Co- Coke was invented in Georgia. Oh, by the way, our greatest export. Is Co- Coca-Cola? You could go anywhere on planet Earth and you're not within a one mile of a Coke. That's oh, made really? up. No, that's made oh. up. But but you can go anywhere. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. Yeah. Like spiders. Yeah. You can go yeah. anywhere and you can get a Coke anywhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I, the Coke Museum's awesome. Yeah. Then they got it's all right the different Cokes the from the different. What what is the best? What's the best way do you guys would consume a Coke? Drink it. No. <laughs> <laughs> It, there's like 15 different like things ways a glass out. bottle no, a bottle 12 ounce an 8 ounce a, a 20 ounce bottle. a 2 liter with ice a it, from a McDonald's yeah well McDonald's would be yeah. how I would do it it's they styrofoam just, cup from McDonald's no just a, what McDonald's does I don't they have styrofoam, styrofoam, they have styrofoam I don't, cups is that a styrofoam cup they have, they have styrofoam cups 
Styrofoam. Oh, the big one. I would get the regular. I get the yeah. thin side. Prefer the styrofoam. I have the. Option. I don't like the styrofoam. Paper clip. Didn't they just change their policy? McDonald's. You change. There's too much sugar in it or something. No, like I don't think you can. Go, I don't think you can go fill it now. Oh yeah, they take it away. They have to, yeah, they do it for oh, you. What a shame. End of an era. Really? Yeah, they're taking them all or away. They're either phasing it out or they just mm. just announced this that they're changing. Well, Derek, we were at a, a game one time and he's like, he's going up to the concession stand. I was like, let me get a coke. And he came down with a 20 ounce, no ice. I go, I, 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 what do you want me? I can't drink this. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. No ice. No ice. Yeah, I like ice. I like a lot of Remember ice. Remember the People one liter? Like ice. The one liter? Mm-hmm. It was half of it. And you were yeah. like, drink that. That's crazy. Dude. McDonald's is phasing out self serve soda stations. Here's why theft. It has to yeah. be. Yeah. Interesting. The chain says that the change is intended to, cre- to create a consistent experience for both McDonald's workers and their customers mm. in all ordering points. That doesn't sound like the truth. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. That sounds anyway. like, yeah, no more. You still get it in the drive through. That's the one thing you can't Uber Eats is a drink. It comes, I usually, when I'm at the hotel, mm-hmm. I would go to Ice and then get a Coke downstairs. And Why can't Uber you, you can Uber Eats a drink? Yeah, but it's not after a like, Taco Bell at two in the morning. It's not going to be, there's no ice going to be in it by the time uh, you get it. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. point. Good point. Uh, yeah. Um, we invented Coke. We get no respect for that. <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. That's huge. Everywhere, every other foreign country, there's well, there's Coke and KFC. I mean, Atlanta also invented Chick Fil A and Waffle House. Oh, yeah, we did it, and the chicken and the, and the chicken yeah. sandwich. Mm-hmm. George has done a lot of good stuff. Thank you. Finally, yeah. some respect. Okay. Ti yeah. and the, all the rap <laughs> yeah. achievements. Yeah. Yeah. Chris. Oh yeah, Ti became a comedian. That's right. He's doing oh, comedy yeah, in, yeah. in Atlanta. All right, we don't claim that. Is he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's still doing it. I think so. I haven't. I, I think I haven't heard. He started that. doing clubs. Yeah, didn't he get he got in trouble, right? Or he, or he had a heckler, or he had something. Yeah, something, something happened early yeah, on. Yeah. Then he started. He sells out clubs. What about yeah. Bob? Oh yeah, B-O-B's I great. mean, he had a good run. Yeah, is he, he considering? Him, yeah, <laughs> you know Bob? No, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a list here of rappers from Atlanta. On the Olympics, you talk about that. Is that in there? Yep, ninety six uh, yeah. Olympics. It went bad. Did I you go? Went bad. Oh yeah, I went there. I, was, I saw Michael Johnson around the four hundred. That guy oh, was wow. in the golden shoes. Remember that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No socks. Yeah. That guy was a. I, I went what, to the. I went the nicest. Really? Yeah. I wonder what that guy's doing now. Michael Johnson. Yeah. There he is, bro. I remember Probably watching that right. track. We're no tur- socks and the golden shoes. Oh, That's awesome. Yeah. Man, I mean that guy. That was awesome to watch. That's the only sport. Well, I guess now because of doping, I guess the this the the purest. Yeah. Yeah, just straight up run. Just straight up run. Yeah, it's a fun to watch. That's like the first sport ever. Just who can run the fastest. Mm-hmm. Now I don't even... Have you ever heard that the thing about wrestling? No, what? Okay, wrestling. Well, we went. Yeah, we, we went to we Raw. Uh-huh. Okay, we went to Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. And it was like, I wrestling's fake, right? There, That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this one guy gets hit and he's bleeding. And I'm like, dude, Aaron, is that real? And he's like, no, that is real. All right, all right, cool. And then it, we're sitting there, and then the guy gets a, a neck brace put on him and into a stretcher. And I'm like, dude, what? And then he rips it off, hits the guys, and then pins the guy. I go, yeah. is that real? And he goes, no. And I go, dude, this <laughs> is incredible. Because he like, yeah. and I was listening to a um, Rogan on, on a podcast, and he said uh, that guy that uh, Rick Rubin. Mm-hmm. He goes, wrestling is the best sport because. Never would you be watching a Vanderbilt game and a guy out of the stands would put on a jersey, kick a field goal, and then celebrate. You're like, because your <laughs> your imagination only goes in this maybe box. Maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. 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 maybe. Yeah. It's a bad example. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a bad example. Yeah. But he said all, school. <laughs> all the other, the, the sport, you think it's real. Yeah. But it's not, none of it is real. Well, I mean, yeah. None of it is real. We had a woman kicker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, yeah. Not that, I, but that, <laughs> not, that there's anything yeah. wrong with that. No, yeah. there's anything, no, but it's funny to think like you yeah. go out of the box of imagination. <laughs> yeah. You, you view it, it yeah. you're never going to see a, va- <laughs> a female <laughs> kick in during a game. <laughs> like, of, did, <laughs> match, like, no, no, we did that. <laughs> we, yeah, did, yeah. we did see that. Yeah. We did see yeah. that. Yeah. But if you go, you're like, because what, what makes us the most mad about sports, sports, cheating. Oh, because these are the rules. We have these this framework mm-hmm. of what's supposed to be, and then some. Like you would never see in a basketball game, some guy fly down from. Like I was at the, um, <laughs> we were at the uh, the WWE or whatever it was, yeah. and Hardy, you know Hardy, the 
country musician. Oh, man. I, when I came back the day after that, I talked about it a bunch. You did? Here. Oh, yeah. I, go, I was so fired up because you're already coming in the ring. He, yeah, because he said, when you watch basketball, the dopamine rush to your brain is why you watch it, right? Because mm-hmm. you watch it for entertainment. It's fun to watch. He's like, but if your team's down by 30 and there's two minutes left, you're like, nothing mm-hmm. can happen. Right. But right. he's like, in wrestling, there's no bounds to what it is. And you yeah. think the NBA is real. Right. But then remember when Kobe, this is a way off on a tangent. Remember when Kobe Bryant was going to play with Dwight Howard and Chris Paul for the Lakers? And they said, Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? They were like, that's what that was within the rules. But they go, no, this is going to mess up the entertainment product. Remember? They just oh, said, no, you can't I don't do remember that. that. I don't either. Then it just became, that's what all these NBA teams do. <clears throat> yeah. But at no, the time, they told them, yeah, I remember it. They, they, they stopped it. Yeah. They put a stop to it. But even going back to the running, what you want to watch sport because it's, but there's nothing in sport that is real. That's the dusty coming out of that seat. Oh, mm-hmm. shoot, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of felt it when I sat down. <laughs> yeah. Triple H, I think, said one time, you can spend hundreds of dollars going yeah. to a sporting event. It could be a dud. For wrestling, yeah. you're guaranteed to get like entertainment. Great point. Yeah. Yeah. And if the goal of it is entertainment, yes, but watching people run. Now, now you have like blood doping and like uh, PT or like what I was going to PTSDs. Not yeah. Uh, yeah. PTSD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably that yeah. too. Yeah. But just watching people run. PTSD. But now you're like, oh, you found out. You're like, oh, well, it's pointless then because like Alabama. CFCTs, yeah. MRIs. CTEs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Who what would else? know? Yeah. Who would know if somebody was like, hey, you, you like, it would be cool if so-and-so went and played for that team and like, hey, we're going to make this trade. But the NBA is also going to slide you twenty million dollars on the under the table just to make that yeah competitive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm into it. I'm wrestling. I'm into it. Yeah, so, yeah. I think Hulk Hogan's from Georgia. Oh yeah, no, obviously. That you guys already assume that. So yeah. best wrestler. I didn't of all know time. he was from there. Oh yeah. Um, you want I to picture that like, he's not from nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Florida. I, I thought Florida. Yeah. Right. He lives yeah. in Florida yeah. currently. Mm-hmm. He lives but I think Florida. I read he was from Georgia. You want to tell us about Factor? I'd love to tell you about Factor, man. I love it. Now do it like Byron Allen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I usually do a good because transition. Hulk Hogan is that oh. uh, Aaron? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, you've been Aaron, eating a lot of meals yeah. lately? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been yeah. eating a lot of meals. I was using Factor. Oh, yeah. With the busy fall season already starting, you might be looking for convenient meals for jam packed days. Factor is America's number one ready to eat meal kit. It can help you with chef prepared, dietitian approved, ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well. Stay on track with a healthy, healthy lifestyle. <laughs> That's the word I messed up on. Factor lets you skip the extra trip to the grocery stores. No prepping, no cleanup. Just put it in the microwave. Or if you don't like microwaves, you can put them in the oven. Choose from 34 plus weekly flavor packed, fresh, never frozen meals ready to eat in two minutes. I love Factor. I've been using it since we started working with Factor mm-hmm. for years now. These are most of the meals I eat. Our factor meals. It has different plans like the calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving or protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. It's delicious. It's easy. It's affordable. This September, get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Ready in just two minutes. No prep. No mess. Head to factormeals.com slash Nate50. Listen in. It's a little more complicated of a code than we're used to. Use code Nate50 to get 50% off. That's code Nate50 at factormeals.com slash Nate50 to get 50% off. Mm -hmm. Got it. So in the 80s and 90s, the Athens, Georgia was like the big rock scene. REM, widespread panic, B-52s. Okay. We weren't allowed to go there. (laughs) Because of that? Yeah, it was more like a party scene. It was like, uh, yeah, kids that weren't. That was like, because it was a college Kids that weren't Christian, though, for sure. Athens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. But like Seattle had the grunge scene, but then Athens yeah. kind of had its own scene, right? A little bit. Yeah. There's a lot of bars there, actually. It's one of the premier, probably, college towns. Yeah. Yeah. But By the way, where is, where do you ever see Vanderbilt kids? Uh, like around town, where are they? I remember they would go to like more when I was in college, like a lot of Vanderbilt kids. They'd go to bars like on Broadway. I think it's like Demumbrian, uh, that yeah, kind of area. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, they but they go Sacco. down to Broadway. Sat, you see what Sacco lost. Sacco. Just, I'm just we're in a different age bracket than, yeah. than their bars. You know what I mean? I've been in a bar and I'm like, I'm the oldest person here and I don't like the feeling of that. <laughs> so I get out of there. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, you know, go to like you go to Knoxville or like, oh, these are all the oh, they're these are all the, I guess yeah. I guess Nashville a town is not a college town. Yeah, uh, that's probably yeah. Why. I mean, Na- well, Nashville is just it's going to be so many people now. There's so many people that I mean, how big is the school? Uh, not not the van, not it's not a big school, like but it's eight, uh, eight or nine thousand. I think yeah, is but it? it's it's going to be now. So many people are downtown. But it's bachelor parties that you're seeing versus yeah, you know, Vandy kids. But some of the seventy one hundred kids. Mm-hmm. Really, an undergraduate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not that many. Uh, Atlanta's but kind of replaced Hollywood as uh, thank all the you movies and TV shows. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Tax breaks. Yeah, and I know wish Tennessee wanted to get. Yeah, it, it, how far down there is uh, Tyler Perry? Because he should have been first. Mm-hmm. Really? I was about to say oh, Tyler yeah, Perry, dude. Mm-hmm. Tyler Perry's our. Uh, yeah, he's on our. Uh, he kind of kind of got stone, started, didn't he? He's on yeah. our Stone Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say Mount Rushmore, but I tried to make it Georgia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tyler Perry. I think people yeah. know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big Tyler Perry fan. Me too. I'm a yeah. huge Tyler Perry yeah. fan. Yeah. Didn't you go and see Tyler Perry live? Medea live? Yeah, I saw it live in, in Memphis. In, in, it was awesome. Oh, yeah, okay. I got this guy. This guy. This guy figured it out. Yeah. Tyler Perry figured it what out. What was the show? Songs? It was like it was play? like a, like a, a couple live like scenes. It was a couple of live scenes, and they had it was on the you know the huge screen behind it, but they were all acting it in out. An arena. Yeah, it was awesome, and he man. was in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there was like I mean, there's fifteen. There were like do different like scenes. Yeah, of like the show, but they were live, and it was. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to say this in a in a in a way that would make sense, but like some of the jokes I was out on. Yeah, I just didn't get them right because a lot of black culture. I go, I was like asking around. I go, what's that one? Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But who's it, that woman up there? Yeah, oh, I go. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Or a lot of the stuff. Maybe I didn't follow the show, but it was incredible. Packed. Mm, yeah. yeah. That just guy. The energy it out. was yeah. unreal. He like bought his own studio and he just makes all of his own movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great. I think I was watching uh, Medea Christmas mm-hmm. and Larry the Cable Guy's in it. Have you ever seen it? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Yeah. You're like, no, John. <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, they just called me up and we went down there for like two days and like uh, he just riffed. He's like, I riffed all of my lines." I was like, yeah, what? Really? I yeah. think it's. Yeah, I, I watched one of them too, and I, I, uh, I thought real it was simple, real. real yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's 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 very uh, it's nice to watch. It's not it's trying fun. to be super un- yeah. complicated and mm-hmm. all this. It's just purely just. That's why so many people go watch it because it's just a fun. It's a fun, it's unbelievable time. Yeah, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> This little fool thinks she's getting a pony. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to go watch this movie tonight. Uh, we can handle some sports. Yeah. Are you old enough to remember Sid Bream? Oh yeah, nineteen ninety one. I was in my uh, I was oh. in my kitchen. We didn't have a TV at the time, so we weren't allowed because yeah. television. Uh, the devil was gonna get into mm-hmm. our house mm-hmm. through the TV. So we had a radio, and we'd all. I would have been seven years old and we all gathered around the kitchen and that's a diff that's an iconic call by the way the radio call versus the tv call mm-hmm. oh here comes sid brame he's got to run to the plate uh, yeah everybody knows that one and we were listening on the radio and i never knew what think about this i never knew what sid brame looked like mm. wow. oh yeah you've yeah. just been listening i've been listening to the braves games do you still do you have any idea now well that yeah uh <laughs> yeah I think he's coming to some shows. No, oh, really? That. No, he's <laughs> wild, dude. Yeah. Has he? You know, no, no, he might have. I don't know where he's at. Yeah. yeah. But he, yeah, we was like, I, and I saw, I think many, many years later, I saw the, I saw the play. Uh-huh. Like, I saw the TV, like, yeah. review, and I was like, that is different than what I had in my yeah. mind of uh-huh. what that, what was happening. I think that's Gosh, not that a bad thing. you so much. To, it's not a bad thing to, or like it, it have moments like that that you visualize. Yeah. You have to visualize it instead mm-hmm. of just it being. When then you see it shown. Yeah. yeah, it's like reading a book and not watching the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like, did you guys? You guys probably don't know what this is. Adventures in Odyssey. You know what that is? I've heard of it. It's like a kids, but it's a radio show, and it was about this town and all these characters, and everybody's version of it is wildly yeah, different because yeah. you make up what the local store is like you make up right. what the house, you mm-hmm. made it all up in your head that's interesting and that's better than any movie that would ever exist uh-huh. mm-hmm. yeah 
Unless and you saw really, the movie like 10 years later, you go, oh, bummer. But if you're like really dumb, then like it's it's not good in your head. You know what I mean? Dang, I didn't think about that. Yeah, mm. yeah we had. Uh, you want we, someone smart. To but you maybe. don't. <laughs> but but I don't, do you know that you're really dumb? Like, do you know that you're. It's a good point. Yeah. John just learned it right <laughs> now. <laughs> this is messing me up. Man. Is a tree. Yeah. <laughs> if a tree falls in the woods. So if, it, if you're dumb, do you know you're you dumb? You know you don't. There's a comic that I know like that, that he just puts out clips and I go, he just like thinks he's great. Uh, I know a bunch of those. <laughs> yeah. I go, maybe he wins. Maybe he wins. And when we get off stage, I was terrible. No, right. I go, uh -huh. if that, maybe that guy wins. I don't think they do. He's just out there living the dream, <laughs> just doing, and I guess if he was in, in his own mind. Yeah, but what John is saying, but what is the what's own, the difference? Yeah, so what's the he, difference yeah. if he does not even aware of reality? Yeah, maybe he does win. That's what I'm saying. I think he does win. I know this guy. We I follow this guy on TikTok just for this. He's a yeah. musician, and he like performs at like local like gazebos and parks, and he thinks he is Justin Timberlake, right? And he's like, I am, and it's yeah. awesome. It's like a blind man with an ugly wife. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard that? <laughs> Isn't that an expression? I don't know. <laughs> I, I would think the expression would be a blind man with a pretty wife, and yeah. it, there's something. No, I like that's what Brian, I would think you would do that. You're like, well, that's like a blind man with a pretty wife. It's a yeah. waste of time. Or something, yeah. like, he doesn't would, know. That's what I think the impression would be. You're saying you're the saying, blind guy thinks his wife's hot. Yeah, so he yeah. doesn't know any better. Yeah. So in his yeah. mind, so yeah. why do, why doesn't it? Why does it? D just let him think about it. doesn't uh, matter what's objectively true about it. It's only matters dang. how he perceives yeah. it. That's deep. Think about you it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we should all be blind. We should all be blind. Yeah. Racism. Right. Yeah. 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 It's the crossroads of. <laughs> well, we had, we had a, a lot of unbelievable moments, uh, but then the Falcons, Patriots, Super Bowl is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. That's, mm -hmm. that's part of our checkered past. 28 to 3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, still, I still don't. Why do they say checkered past? Because some good and some bad. Yeah. I think I, I haven't looked this up. I think like a checker checkerboard. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like alternating good and bad. Good and bad. And bad. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Spotted. But path. a checkered flag is yeah. also victory. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> think about it. Checkered end zone. The checker pass. Yeah. Yeah. Like it just <clears throat> checkers. It's an idiom to use to describe someone with a questionable or controversial history. The phrase originated in the U.S. and it's carried. Uh, I think it's yeah. just like a word. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a checkered. <laughs> got to the bottom of that. Uh, it's just a yeah. word. Got it. You got the a pretty wife. You're a blind yeah. man. I don't think. I don't think. Still, I don't think those jokes are funny. That's like a like pretty a, woman with an ugly blonde man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the point? You know what you everybody. Know what you know what everybody <laughs> says. <laughs> <laughs> who says that nobody everybody, everybody says that <laughs> that would be he just you drop dead gorgeous woman yeah ugly blind man you're like come on <laughs> she, she knows what she's doing <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. this has been going too long we can't talk this long yeah yeah it's dying it's yeah. dying dude yeah, yeah. Uh, is there anything else about Georgia sports you wanted to say? Oh, we're sitting at the top. I mean, the Falcons are undefeated with our with the help of our guy. Yeah, yeah. Nate Landman. Nate Landman. Nate Landman. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, he's crushing it. He's and, the glue. Uh, the we glue. won the well, the Falcon or the um, Braves clinched first place. So Braves are unreal this yeah, year. Might be, might be best Braves team yeah. ever. Now and the Braves, uh, the Braves have an advantage because of uh, TBS. Because everyone around the South was watching the Braves mm -hmm. when yeah, I, was I was coming out. Yeah, I was a Braves fan. Yeah, America's before, team. Yeah, I don't think they said that. Yeah, I don't That's think the they Cowboys. said The Cowboys. <laughs> I thought they called the Braves America's no, team. I don't think I, so. I, oh, I've never heard. Oh, I thought you were joking. No, I was serious. I thought I know the Cowboys are the football, but I thought baseball. The Braves. I never heard the Braves called that. I, I mean, I'd love it if that were true. Del Murphy. I thought back in the day at TBS, that, that's what they. I threw out the first pitch, <clears> I think, uh, last year. Yeah, Ooh, I watched the video. When everybody goes like. That that's like the, what, that's my biggest credit. Throwing out the Throwing first, out first Braves Braves game. game. Yeah, that's probably the that's coolest thing there. I've ever done. Mm -hmm. Mine is too, but it's the national sale. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the counts, dude. That Mine's counts. the Chattanooga lookouts. Yeah. Do you know Matt Olson? 
Uh, no, I don't know. We just got him this last year. But is he from your hometown? Uh, Lilburn. Yeah. He's Matt Olson is. Yeah. I know that uh, Walker Zimmerman, who played the World Cup, yeah. is from the same place that uh, we played soccer growing up. Yeah, this was like, y'all should talk about this after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're talking about, Olson. you know, <laughs> sports. You know, Matt Olson. Uh, uh, yeah, buddy he's, he's, yeah, he's a good guy. I did make a mistake. Do you ever do this? That you like? I was watching a, a, a Dylan Lee is a relief pitcher for the Braves, and I thought he had a rough outing during the World Series, and I DM'd him, and I go, "Hey, dude, keep your head up." Uh, and then I go, "Yeah." Why did I do that? Yeah. And he responded yeah. back. Or you're like, but do you ever like do that? And you're like, well, I yeah. shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I can see it. Like, emo- you're like that. emotional about it. You want to just yep. you think he would be emotional. Yeah. And then you got to go, like, I don't know him. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. I get it. Because your heart's in yeah. a really, really right place. It is. That's a mistake. We've I, all made it. Yeah. yeah we've all I, made I, it. I, I always try to give my now because I, I could see That's one of you. That's hilarious, actually. You got to yeah. give yourself a beat. Yeah, and just go like, do I and think about what could come? What are like, we do doing? I want to yeah. talk to this guy. Yeah, is this guy want to hear from me? <laughs> what if he thinks he had a great game? Yeah, like said earlier, <laughs> and he lives in that reality. Like, and then what? you're yeah. like, he's got an ugly wife. Yeah, yeah. tell him that. <laughs> I almost DM'd uh, Aaron Rodgers <laughs> to say, <laughs> keep your head up. Yeah, yeah. 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 double down. For you. Yeah. yeah, but then I didn't because I've done. I did it to uh, because people did, did that it? with you. Yeah, or in a good and bad. But yeah, people say we love it's it like to but you're like I shouldn't say but that. But you've for had sure. you've had that work. Didn't your friendship with Scott Stapp start that way? Yeah, just a, a lot of way. just a random Yeah. D- there you go. So but then you're ah, take a step. I, yeah. Yeah. And if it, if they What'd don't you tell respond him, to like this. sorry you're not touring anymore like <laughs> Scott what, Stapp? Yeah. Did he get canceled or No, something? he I oh. saw him at the Preds game. Yeah. At like a 3 years ago and I and it's funny because I look I go that guy's sober. I guarantee you that guy's sober. Yeah. And I like he just looked sober from from how he used to look. Yeah. And I went to DM him, and I he had DM'd me like a year ago oh, about so awesome. it was one of my bits. And I was like, dude, what's up? We're at the we're at the game. Yeah, yeah, that rules. But yeah, I yeah. did it to Harrison Butker, who is the kicker for the Chiefs, and he went to Georgia Tech. So I was like, dude, tough <laughs> miss, go Jackets. And then I was like. Oh my God. You've got like a trend going yeah. on. You did like, it too much. But I guess I, you know, I do, I do, I think so. But it's embarrassing yeah. when they don't respond. But you don't. Do you ever? Would you ever come good news to them? <laughs> you ever say congrats? No, I, I feel like I relate to them when they're struggling. <laughs> yes, yeah. they want to. They want to hear from people when Tough they're down. Miss because yeah. then Aaron yeah. Rodgers said thanks for all the DMs and everybody that supported me, and I was like, dang, I'm not on that. <laughs> Well, you did DM him. No, I didn't. I not, said not I thought until about after it. that. Oh, yeah. I thought about. Yeah, I thought about. It. I never oh, did. when he got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that you could reach out. And you just want to be like, "Hey, I just want to." Because it, yeah, yeah, because your heart hurts that he got hurt. Mm-hmm. But you know, yeah, somebody, but when somebody has a good or like, dude, I got mm-hmm. thousands of texts mm-hmm. saying, and I'm like, I, I, if I would want to be a part of that, yeah, Not, I it's don't need very a res- nice. I don't yeah. need a response from it, but I would want to be yeah. like, and then yeah. I think Aaron Rodgers getting hurt makes sense. Yeah. The- Kicking the field goal, like I mean, that guy probably yeah. wants to be buried in a hole. And you go, hey, and dude, get, yeah, you know, tough miss, yeah, or something. Go like that. jackets. It's funny, actually, that not to, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> no, because I was like, that's the connection I had, but I didn't even go there. So it's like, he's <laughs> like, Jack- <laughs> then yeah, he's like, my what? brothers got in, I didn't get in. <laughs> yeah, but that's how I have to do every vain yeah. thing. I have to go. I didn't go there. Go jackets. <laughs> 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 you go, but you go. Wait, you did think, you say jacks uh, or jacket? Jacket. Go jackets is brutal. Is it the golden yeah. jackets? The yellow jackets. jackets. The yellow, jackets. Jackets. yellow jackets. Yellow jackets. Oh, yeah. yeah, go jackets. Go, do y'all like, say go jackets? Oh yeah, we say go jackets. Yeah. Go jacket. <laughs> Tough miss. Go jackets. <laughs> Hold on, let me see what I actually got to him. And he doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> He's probably going. I don't even know what this guy's referencing. And he goes, "No, you play." You play for the Yellow Jackets. He goes, oh. Oh, yeah. I guess we're. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Hold on. I got it. Tough miss. Hey, no. Oh, he he must have got, he must have won. <laughs> I think he won the Super Bowl. Okay. Won the Super Bowl with the, and he went, I uh, said, big kick. This is February 13th. <laughs> Super Bowl. So Super Bowl. Yeah. Big kick, brother. <laughs> Go yeah. Jackets 2. Go Jackets 2. Yeah, I don't know. That was he, in the next DM. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He responded. Did he? <laughs> Did he respond? Yeah. He did. Uh, what did he yeah. say? <laughs> Who dis? Go oh, jacket. No. <laughs> did he go jacket, 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 jack, jack, jacket? 
I don't know. Is that y'all's like thing or something? <laughs> like, da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah. But you do relate. Yeah, you go, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. But was he you. grateful that you? Yeah, no, it's his assistant. Uh, or the, whoever's running his account was like, thanks. Well, I, I think wanted. the kicker's running his own account. Yeah. <laughs> no, if I had a guess, I don't think he's. <laughs> <laughs> but this is why you shouldn't have. You <laughs> shouldn't have like The Rock. Yeah. So he got, he got whoever's, I don't know if you run this. Oh, I run it. <laughs> There's 8,000 followers. How many is followers this, does he have? Is this really you? <laughs> yeah. He goes, <laughs> 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 I feel like we've just been going too long. It just been... <laughs> you would never say like, yeah. I mean, you, you get emotional about a certain thing. That's why we shouldn't have the internet. You shouldn't be able to message anyone. Yeah, you should not. No one should be able to message anyone. Yeah, but anyone can message anyone is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's that direct. It is crazy yeah. that you can just say what, and you might see yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, tough miss. Go jackets. <laughs> 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 like thanks. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Let me see what I said to Dylan Lee because it was nice. I think. I think we got all we want out of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. That's yeah. Good. That's a good one. Yeah. So uh, that's it. Uh, tour wise, my I'm starting back up. About to be on a, a decent run for the rest of the year. So I'm excited. Uh, Willer, Willing, starting off in Willing, West Virginia. Willing, West Wheeling. Virginia. Uh, Wheeling. What'd you, what'd you say? <laughs> no. <Huh>? Sorry. <laughs> Dylan many? Lee yeah. plays for the Braves. October 30th. This is must have been the World Series. Yeah. No shame in that start, my man. <laughs> Proud of you, bro. <laughs> you ever met him before? <laughs> <ever>? <laughs> <laughs> no shame in that stuff. Hold on. My man. I think it's worse. <laughs> oh, no. That was October 30th, 2021. He responds, August 16th, 2022. Just saw this message. Thank you. <laughs> From a game a year ago. He goes, he goes, what are we doing? October 30th. You got to remember it. He goes, well, that's my aunt's birthday. Uh, oh, World Series. This lunatic. He goes. No shame in that No start. shame in that start. Love you, brother. <laughs> he goes, I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> He's got to reply to I'm it because of the blue check mark. He has to go. I guess I got to respond back to the. Don't ever forget where you came from. Love you, brother. A, go was... jackets. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that specifically because it was a bullpen start. We only have yeah. three starters, right. so like we had a, we had a bullpen yeah. game, and they were like, "I guess we're starting." Dylan Lee. No who shame in that. Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who shouldn't be out there. No shame in that, brother. <laughs> no shame in that, brother. Love you, proud of you, making me proud. You making us proud. Go Jackets. <laughs> Could it be prouder? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> now he's going to respond to you like you said some special is great. Love you, brother. <laughs> Go, Jack! <laughs> he's got. He's got to be this emotional. Uh, what did I? Yeah, why? why yeah, uh, so you're like, ah, oh, dang! I would love to say something to him. You're like, yeah, because yeah. maybe back in the day, if you want, you had to write. Yeah. Can you imagine? Bit. They go now. Is he still pitching? Yeah, he's at the Braves, and they go, "Hey, John Christ is here," and he goes. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he said he wants he? to he goes, say he's hi. He's right around the corner. Uh, <laughs> he wants to say hi. He wants to say hi. He, he said, said y'all know each other. <laughs> he said y'all go back. <laughs> and then you got the DM pulled up so he remembers. <laughs> Long time no talk. <laughs> go Jackets. <laughs> <laughs> no shame in that star. Oh, yeah, no shame oh, in that, that star. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. I know. I, I love it. Look, that's I've that's seen my. As I've laughed on here in a long time. Uh, you do that. You've never done that with a golfer. No. Yeah. I, I think yeah. I've well, seen. I, I don't remember. Yeah. I've, you've seen. It's funny because we've all done it. Yeah. Yeah. We've all done <laughs> it. <laughs> it's it's I uh, it's so wonderful. But yes, but you I, do some I, things I, and then you go, why did I? Why did I do that? Because the older you get, too, the more embarrassing it gets. Where you go, like, I'm a. 
I'm old. I thought for a second. Yeah. Some right. kid. <laughs> Oh, God, some child awesome. tough start tough <laughs> I think not to I don't think the not to, I think it not to bring it all the way around but like when I got canceled like a lot of like thousands and thousands of like private I was getting crushed publicly but like and now like when is somebody like their last dm was from that day yeah mm-hmm. and it that means the yeah, world. Right, right. They go, hey, I just want to let you know that we're thinking about you and we're praying for you and we care for you. And then, like, three years later, they respond to him, like, dude, yeah. Go Jackets. Go Jackets. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to go Jackets. <laughs> respond to all those that, go Jackets. Because <laughs> I think, but he didn't know I, he didn't know I have an association with right. Georgia Tech. So that DM doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> He's like, well, that's where I went to college. Yeah. What did they do today? Yeah. <laughs> that rules. Oh, God. I love it. Go Jackets. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. That's him. That was good. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so yeah, Wheeling, West Virginia. I'm at uh, tour. All starts up. I cannot wait to come out. Uh, also, Mike Vecchione. He is hunt- in Huntsville. Stand up live September 21st and 23rd. And Greg Warren is at Zanies in Rosemont. That same September 21st, September 23rd. If you're in those areas, go check those guys out. And Joe Zimmerman special comes out. Joe Zimmerman special Monday? comes out Monday, to- Monday or yeah. Tuesday. Monday or the third Tuesday. Nate Land special. Yeah. Third Nateland special, and then the next week we—I don't even know if it's announced yet, but you're here. Uh, I'll just—we're going to—we have a, another thing we filmed with a showcase with these guys have all hosted mm-hmm. Brian, Aaron, and uh, Dusty. It's going to be coming out weekly. I'll be making a big uh, uh, post about that announcement about that. But make sure you check out Joe Zimmerman's special. It's a great, great special, and his comes out. I think the twenty fifth, twenty sixth, mm-hmm. something like that's the beginning of next week. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, check that out. Uh, this see, this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm with Leanne Morgan at Pensacola Beach, Florida. And then Saturday, I'm headlining the Jasper Theater, and the, the Astra Theater in Jasper, Indiana, with uh, a couple of funny guys. So please come to Jasper, Indiana for that. Mm. September 28th, Ketchikan, Alaska. Bob and I perform be there. Up there. And then that weekend, the 29th and 30th, I met Hereafter in Seattle, Washington. Wise guys in Salt Lake the next week. Come on out. You want to plug anything? So you got a big go. tour. Oh, yeah. I want a huge tour. tour. Yeah, yeah. I got a huge tour. Going yeah. to Canada. Speaking of, we're in Atlanta, uh, the Fox Theater on oh, uh, going back? October the 14th. October the 14th. Right. Return. Yeah. And the fall tour. Dude. Emotional yeah. sport tour. You just we're announced everywhere. a gigantic tour starting yeah. September 14th, Oklahoma City, Tulsa. Go yeah, check out John Chris website. Already, that was already passed. Uh, <laughs> Oh, when is yeah. where you start? So, Ottawa. Oh yeah, Ottawa. Ontario. Uh, yeah, we're going to. All, That's where you're going to be over. first. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna DM Dylan Lee and see if he wants to come to the show. <laughs> where Dude, does he live? He, he lives come. in Atlanta. I'm gonna see if he oh. wants to come to the Fox show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he should come to the Fox. We're show. going all over. We just in December. What's up, brother? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> go jackets I'm he goes great the set <laughs> he's got just and then every time he meets you he has to he has, to say has your energy because yeah. <laughs> you're you're like emotional energy love you brother <laughs> tough so, start hey. no shame in that so he's got to come to you when and he, be when like after my show that was so Fox. amazing i love hey, you man <laughs> rocky uh, start thanks for having me rocky back rocky, rocky start, start. No shame Go in that set, brother. Jackets. No <laughs> yeah. shame in that. No shame in that set. Go, up, jackets. Go jackets. Go jackets. Go oh, jackets. Oh man, uh, that's great. All right. <coughs> yeah, you might be getting some go jackets. Oh man, that is uh, all right. that's that's a rule. Yeah. But everyone else has done it. That's why it's so funny. Yeah, but you yeah. get overwhelmed with emotion. You're like I should never I love have done it. that. Uh, all right, I love it. I love you. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, and uh, hopefully, see you on the road. See everybody, and we will talk to you next week. All right, bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetzi, and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.